Hey, there's a multiplayer mode. Huh. Oh, I think this is the online multiplayer. Hello, Internetians. And welcome to... I'm just going to see what this is real quick. Multiplayer. I'm guessing it's the online multiplayer, which means it's not going to fucking function. Okay, there's a local play, but it's not the campaign, so we're not doing this. Yeah, we're, we don't have time for this. No. Maybe if we have another um, situation like the end of the last game where we just win early on and then fuck around for an hour, maybe then we'll mm -hmm. test it out like once or twice, but... I mean, yeah, sure. With local play, but yeah. Well, like, we've got several games to get through. Yeah. For now, we're saving that for later. Huh, I already have a safe slot on here. Okay, that's fine. Well, guess I was playing this game at some point. So, hello, Internet Agents. I know I already said that, but that was a crappy intro, so I'm doing another one. Oh, Welcome. Okay. Oh, shit. This one's bad, too, now. <laughs> oh. We just already were just right there. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Good thing I didn't see. What are you doing? Check and make. What? Th 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 that's cheating! On the contrary, the rules Apparently clearly Ratchet state that the blogging and snagger beast has an allergic reaction to swamp <laughs> that last two turns. Yeah. Ooh, it this is was still a PS2 end. game in this era. I mean, yes, but PS2 games have been able to do this. A lot. I feel like a lot of shit is happening and we are not taking any of it in. Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But right. do you lose as gracefully as you will? That dude looks like a Lego I would man. not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! Uh, I'll explain this later. <laughs> oh yeah, you told me that there was some sort of Agent Crank. Yeah, it's actually its own game. It's technically canon, but also technically not canon. Because the whole thing is that... missed so much for this. Famous secret agent. Clank was actually a movie star after their after they finished the second game. Okay. Oh, and look. Come around, Jeeves, and mind the objective seat this time. Ratchet is his fucking butler. Stay tuned what the for fuck? more secret yeah. agent Clank. So, so yeah. <laughs> that was terrific. Yeah, great. <laughs> Change the channel. <laughs> but the man said to stay tuned. <laughs> we continue our live coverage from Velden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by Velden. a terrifying alien race known as the like Tyranoids. That. Yeah, that's right. Officials so believe I was that an say. evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind yes. behind the Tyranoid attack. Oh yeah, attack. you told me about him. As you can my see, favorite team. the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight. He's much better in Kraken no Time, but to be fair, literally everything about the game is much better in Kraken Time. This huh. Badwater planet so. may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. <laughs> I love how those news broadcasts always end with the fucking reporter in imminent danger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, clearly she's just getting, like, thrown in jail. Oh, right, no. Works. Not the gravimetric yeah. warp drive. It's like, oh, can't have any witnesses. The gravimetric <laughs> warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal. If, they, if they're killing her to get rid of witnesses, I think they do not understand what a news broadcast is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on if you they care saying, or not. I stand yeah. corrected. I just hope we're not too late. Is it me or does this one have way more story than the last ones already? Well, the whole story so far is that Doctor and Nefarious is taking over Ratchet's home planet and they're coming to stop him. Yeah, it's just it's been all cutscenes so far. I mean, I, there was a decent amount of cutscenes in the last one, but not not right off the bat like this, was it? Yeah. I mean, there were slightly fewer, but I feel like it was comparable. This still looks very similar to right. the other one. So, Visually, anyway. Uh, I want to pause it so we can talk, but I... Yeah, I was waiting for that dialogue to end. Alright. What were you saying? No, I basically said everything I needed to say. Like, there have been cutscenes in the previous ones. Yeah, it sounded like you were leading up to something, because you said so. Um, there was something I was going to say. Oh yeah, I never said the thing about Secret Agent Clank. So yeah, so it's technically canon, but also not canon, because the whole thing is that he's a movie star, so it is canon in the sense that it is a fictional universe that canonically exists within this fictional universe. Fictionception? Yeah. 
it's canon in that sense that uh, oh, yeah. it is a movie that canonically exists. <laughs> All right. But the events of said movie are not canon. <laughs> uh, we're not playing that one because we have a lot of games to play, and that yeah. one I think is a mobile game, which, fuck that. Yeah, let's not bother. Yeah. So, All right. who wants so, to... So, are, do you, are you going to start first, or am I going to? Because I think I've started the previous two games, so I don't know if you want to just mix it up or I, just stick with tradition. I'll tell you what, I, I like you starting... Um, to keep with tradition, I do want to myself in my own hands check how the controls work. All right, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you can like fuck around in this like starting battle. Okay. Uh, first of all, this is inverted. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so that's gonna be annoying. I, I'm pretty sure you can change that though. Uh, that's the same. Uh, that's the same. Um, do we have a gun yet. Um. I don't think I we, guess we have just a gun yet. We have no. no guns. Okay, so I can't figure out how the guns work. Okay, so I'm going to play until we get a gun and I can test it, hey, and no. then I'll give it to you. No, that's, <laughs> that's not even going to be, like, the thing anymore. Oh, fair enough. Because right. what if it, we get, like, a gun halfway through this level? This is it. This is fucking it. Remember I said, in the, I'm pretty sure in the third one you can change it? Third Boom. person or lock strafe. First person. First person, third person, and lock so, strafe. So lock strafe, I believe, is uh, very similar to... Oh, wait, no. Lock strafe is you press the button and it switches into the strafe mode. Okay. Um, and then you press it and it switches back. All right. Um, I guess that's an improvement. Uh, third person, is, uh, which is the default, was uh, what we've seen thus far in the previous game. Okay. Like, almost exactly. First person is what the later games do, and it's what I'm mostly used to. It, also, uh, fuck this. The later <laughs> games are in first person mode. Uh, they're not. It's not actually first person. You'll see what I mean. Let me. Let me. Oh shit! It is first person mode. Right. Holy shit! Okay, which one of these is the one that I wanted to use then? Options. Not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I? I was. My brain was still on which camera mode I want to use, and that prevented me from selecting options. <laughs> All right, hang on. How does this work? Uh, this... I, I have to have a control- I have to have the fucking guns to figure out how it works. Alright, well let's play. just do this shit. Let me take over for a short time once you get the guns, because I want to see how the guns work. What did you press to open that up? I think I pressed L1. Really? Yeah, but it, didn't, it didn't open. Oh, no, it was- it was trying. Okay. Cool. Yeah, once we get a gun, I want to check the controls and see if I can get it working the way I expect it to actually work. Uh, I forgot how to duck. Alright, there we go. Alright, now we're good. Yeah, there you go. Back into Ratchet and Clank 1 mode. Warning! Okay, I <laughs> guess we just threw it into the dude and he just died. You threw the fucking uh, wrench into the cutscene before you. Oh, li look, he literally just got a gun. Press R1 to fire your this, is, this is why I wanted to take over. <laughs> Alright, fine. I wanted, I just wanted, technically you played, well, technically I jumped around first. All technically right. you made progress first. <laughs> Alright, go ahead then. I wanna, play. yeah, I wanna see what's up with the guns. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so we've got... We one shot blaster. Uh, okay, that's cool. Um, ah, finally! We got the shot... It's on a trigger! Oh, it's on L1. That's what, or R1. R1. That's R1. what I fucking wanted. This whole time, it's all I wanted. Because now <laughs> I'm just you can actually aim and fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining in that one scene from SpongeBob, where you're like, "Yes, that's what we've been asking for all along. <laughs> that's what we wanted all along." <laughs> oh no, it's that's what we've been waiting for. That's the. There one. we go. That's yeah. what we've been okay, waiting so, for all along. So not so it, the fire button has to be on one of the triggers. So it has to be either first person mode, which we're not doing, I guess. And, or lock strafe. So lock strafe has to be what we use. All right, I guess we're doing lock strafe. It's the though. only usable control scheme. Well, I mean, the Ratchet and Clank 2 control screen was usable. Yeah, it was usable, but it, it was it not. Wasn't, okay, I so guess that, it wasn't ideal. What the fuck? Okay, I'm about to blow your mind here. <laughs> Wait, what? The L1 is jump. No, X is still jump, but so is L1. What? I don't know why. I guess they just didn't have anything good for uh, the, the which, second control stick. Which makes R2 crouch. Yes. Instead of, instead of R1. 
huh. this is the I think this is the same as this is identical to the later game code for If you still want to use Circle the Fire, it's still technically fine. Alright, I mean I'm probably going to switch to R1 because it sounds The D pad moves me. I guess. Uh that's what I expect. This is what I expect. Oops. This okay. Left stick does nothing to deny. Okay. Do you want to take over? Sure. I don't mind if you play. I just wanted to actually figure out which control scheme was the good one. Because I've been... If, if the up-down is inverted, you can switch that. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, yeah, this does feel more natural. Doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like the one, like, Thanos force-feeding me, like, oh, this is going to be so unnatural. And then, like, oh, yes. Yeah, because that's much similar, that's much closer to how first person shooters or third person shooters typically work. The controls do seem weirdly sensitive to me, but I can deal with that. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess, that somebody is me. We got a volunteer. Here, Sarge, take this. Both copy you. From back there. Here, take this. back there. I'm using the nitro launcher against that vehicle. Nitro launcher. This looks like our big FU blast. Yep. So it is. It's a gun now, like not a glove. Man, fuck the bomb. <laughs> All my homies use the nitro launcher. <laughs> the meme persists. Hold triangle and select an icon with the left analog stick. Yeah. Does holding triangle freeze the game? Yes. Okay. Good. As it should. Okay. The up-down controls seem a little sensitive, but I can probably figure it out. I can probably get used to that. At the very least, it's significantly better. <laughs> I see this that they finally, you know, officially recognize the XP bar. What do you mean? Like, they have a quantifiable... Oh, they did it before? No, you kind of just had to guess whenever you moved it up by the bar that was there. Yeah, the weapons I know had a physical XP bar, but hey, those are indestructible. Oh, it's good cover. I think bombs can destroy them. Only one way to find it. <laughs> this game... I'm, I'm just going to be so much better for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know this is going to save your sin. Yeah, I am hype as shit to finally get to this game. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it looks like it took them like three games to finally figure out how to make good gunplay. Yeah. No, the funny thing is, it's like all you have to fucking do is give the players a choice. <laughs> if you do that, the problem is instantly solved. <laughs> you know. Uh, Rather than trying to make one perfect control scheme, just, you know, make a few. Yeah, I guess. Aside from, like, first person. I would be curious to see um, how much of a meme it would be to try and play it in first person mode <laughs> consistently. <laughs> I, would, I would be kind of curious to see how that would go. Oh, nice. But I would never play it seriously. I'd, I'd play it as a meme. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like they no longer have the sort of damage wheels, and it's just you have a weapon. Yes, that's what they do in like all the later ones as well, I believe. Okay, I, yeah. I guess it was a nice meme while it lasted, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Every single fucking game thus far has been one tiny step closer to what the later games do. Yeah. And now I guess we're here. We're, we're pretty damn close. I think there's still some changes that need to happen, but we're pretty damn close. Um, things still feel a little platformy, which is fine, I guess. Because, like, I was kind of expecting platform. Yeah, it is a platformer game. Um, but it's it's. Yeah, no, this is basic. I'm pretty sure the, that control-wise, this is basically the later games. All right. Now. All right. And UI and mechanically. Uh, the only thing that looks very much like the old games is the, the uh, character models and animations still. Yeah, but it's still PS2 era. Yeah, it's so still a PS2 era. They probably just reused the same assets wholesale. Yeah, they, they clearly remodel some stuff on Ratchet every now and then. 
but they're very they're also very clearly using exactly the same animations. Yeah. Like the animations have not changed one bit. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if like they the didn't completely redo the model, but just readjusted and tweaked it. Yeah, yeah. Well, they always g give him new armor stuff. Yeah. Also, are, are we supposed to actually hear what these troopers are saying? I know it's so muddled. Between like all the loud sound effects and the fact that their voices are robotic. And also the fact that we're talking. <laughs> yeah. We no, cannot even, hear it at all. Even when we're not talking, I'm just like, what? Yeah, I can hear it, but like, I have to, like, strain and actually pay attention. Just like, rip, 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 sir, yes, sir. Okay, that's a cool change. I like this. I like this right here. This is cool. Oh, interesting. This is a cool How many red shirts are going to fucking blink the dust? At least one. I'm pretty sure it already died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, there's two. And Dude, you've got a mini map and it shows where your allies are. Oh, nice. That's fucking cool. You're like straight up in a war zone now. Yeah. We're coming out of the walls! <laughs> Let's see. Um, the first game is very much a platformer romp around the world with guns for some reason. Um, I think we should probably be saving our <laughs> Probably. I don't know if it actually matters, but... Well, yeah, but I want them to survive. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if... I don't know, I don't know if they can die by, a, by uh, enemies. I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know. I mean... You might be 100% right. Safe. I just don't know. <laughs> um, or if, like, their motions are scripted or whatnot. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the first one's basically, like, a, 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 a weird... Uh, Nobody kind of platform romps around the galaxy until he gets the plot until, to move forward. Until the plot happens. Yeah. The second one is like, okay, you're a soldier now, and you like, halfway through the game, you switch sides. Yeah. Uh, this game is literally a fucking war zone now. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a change. For yeah. Sure. Like, thematically at least. Uh, the fourth game I already know is a fucking gladiatorial arena. Yeah, but that's just because it's a side game. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's still very much like one of these three. Uh, maybe even slightly better. I'm pretty sure in the fourth game they just make it so that, like, the default control scheme is this one. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't remember having to change it. Um, and then... The oh yeah, this guy. This is canon now. Okay, watch. Is this guy a werewolf or is he like a episode of Nature's is just Or is he a different variation on a llama? Florana tree I have no idea. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's jambu okay, forest, so is it just a me? mysterious creature. Or are all of the voices Maybe super quiet? Yeah, no, I 100% agree. One of nature's mysteries. We can check the audio settings later. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked. Screaming what the and holding a banana. This is a fucking deal. Or maybe a plant of banana. Yeah. It could be one of nature's <laughs> mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who oh. ever oh lived. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Are past, they really doing this? <laughs> yes. 100% yes. Find out the answer. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. <laughs> the, the second game fed you little bits of jokey tidbits about Quark. So that they could like subtly pull off the plot twist later. Yeah. But this game just fucking said, "Yeah, no, Quark's back." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess Quark is just as big of a part of the game now as Ratchet and Clank. No, no, he straight up is. He's he's a mainstay. For the series. He becomes a lot less annoying though, okay. or maybe more annoying depending on how you see it. All right. He I... becomes more of a joke than an actual character. I guess we'll. Wait and see. Yeah. I think he's less annoying because he mostly just takes the comic relief role, but I guess uh, you'll have to make your own opinion on that. 
That right, is well, definitely binary. What do you mean binary? On the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah, you most certainly. They do that a lot. You can leave this planet. I mean, Either that or it's laughing at us. L O L O L O L O. I mean, I'd be interested to see if there actually is anything scripted here, but I have the feeling there's not. You mean that the binary binary actually means something? Yeah. I think last time we translated it when it was on a sign, and it was something like generic. All right. If I remember correctly. Well, we're changing planets, so now it's your turn. Oh sure. I'll take over. I'm happy to play this game. Yeah. I'm finally uh, excited to play one of these games. <laughs> I was excited to play the first one before I remembered how bad it is. Yeah, the first one was surprisingly not great. <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> not great. That's a really accurate description. <laughs> I like it. Um, so I don't know if we're going to have a feet tax. A plasma whip. <laughs> that looks cool. I have a strong feeling it's not going to be great. Yeah, because it's a melee weapon in a like, gunplay game. I'm, I'm happy to... Oh, God. This is upside down. Yes. Yes, it is. I said you could change it if you wanted. Oh, I thought that oh, wait, it, I thought it was I thought that the cameras were like sort of conjoined to the uh, control scheme. No, no, they're separate. Which I'm glad I'm glad I'm wrong. Well. I'm glad I'm wrong on that regard because okay. if the like I'm glad you don't mind me changing it because I could not play it the other way. Because like if the controls were if sorry if the camera. I was. I'm not keeping that, I'm just testing something. <laughs> okay, so one thing I do have an issue with. There is no vertical speed versus horizontal speed. They're both linked to the same fucking slider. Uh-huh. And the horizontal and the vertical speed is way faster than the than the or way slower than the horizontal speed. So when I turn down the horizontal speed to a reasonable level, the vertical speed fucking becomes this. Uh <laughs> well, that's awkward. Yeah, I wish they would not do that, but it's honestly a minor issue in a, in a much larger grand scheme of changes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also glad that, you know, like I was trying to say that, yeah. you know, the control schemes are not attached to the um, camera schemes. Yeah, yeah. Which I thought, like, well, I guess I'll just suck up the inverted camera. That's telling us to do this now. Press <laughs> start. Then enter the options menu and select right. controls. Oh. Hang on. I want to see something. Oopsie, oopsie. Yeah, okay. We cool. can just automatically change that. Around. Yeah, this is way better. I mean, I feel like it's the same, but it's just cool. Okay, that was weird. Oh, I've got a multiplier. Shit, I gotta do stuff before I run out of it. Oops, that was the wrong button. That's new. What is? Uh, there's a, a bolt multiplier now. I got oh, it. Yeah. Uh, it's doubling my bolt. Yeah, I saw. It's about to run out. But I've almost got everything else. Oh, oh well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I got most of it. That's a minor change, but it's nice, I suppose. A little added thing. Sure. That, okay. I guess you just phase through them if you can't pick them up. Oh no, the natives! <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely something sketchy right there. Also, do we know why we're on this planet? Um, we're looking for Bigfoot. Oh yeah, right. Fuck. Okay, I have one health left. That's not good. Did we just destroy 10 of your health? Uh, I think so. No, I, I, ha I was down to at least 8 before, and I think I might have taken another damage and not realized it. So it definitely did not take deal. It definitely did not deal 10, but it might have dealt 7. Oof. Yeah, we're still in early game uh, health. Yeah, but honestly, late game health doesn't even matter if they're doing 4 times the damage. It's alright, though. I can remember how to play it. More or less. These early, these early games are way harder than the later games, though. Really? Yeah, the later games do dumb that down a little bit. They give you more of a buffer. Hmm. These early games really expect a lot from you. Yeah, because the first game you had four hits. Yeah, yeah, the whole oh, fucking time. Basically. Press X. Yeah. And I mean, mind you, pretty much everything dealt one damage, but still. 
Like, yeah. we don't have to justify the game being hard. We play through. Yeah, no, it just is. <laughs> It, I mean, at the very least, it is that very old, uh, old style, um, that very old-fashioned gaming mentality of, you fucking earn it, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. If you want to win, you gotta fucking earn it. These guys deal for it, I think, so. I cannot get it by the no? Yeah, definitely, I mean, that's why I played that, uh, one Greek, uh, that we're right now. Yeah, you earn it. Yeah. You if you want to beat that game, you have to fucking earn that shit. Do I have Super Mario side jumps? <laughs> yeah, it was it was not as side flip as I thought. It was just because I was spinning the camera. Hmm. I thought it was like almost identical to the animation of Mario side flip. Oh, that, that would be fun. Yeah, it was not. It is technically if I spin it like this, because then it. But that's me doing it. That's not the game. <laughs> right. It was just the way I turned happened to do that. Okay. Um, so, we're definitely getting more bolts, you know, per unit time. Yeah, I kind of want to Even this. the second game. Uh. Sure, let's buy the yeah, store. Yeah, well, fuck it. Hopefully, we're, we're, we're buying, we're getting bolts pretty quick. Hopefully they, uh, hopefully one of the changes they made was, uh, uh, dull, dumbing down the, the, the anti-capitalist message by not making us fucking pay toll to continue the game. Honestly, I would be fine with continuing it if they only had us pay, like, one or two thousand bolts per, Yeah, you know, but some of them are seriously big. Yeah, if they didn't have it be, like, oh, now we've got, we've got the plastic. Yep. I think it's a little better in this game, too. Uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, if they didn't have us pay more than one or two thousand bolts per continuation uh -oh. event, <laughs> then that would be fine. In my yeah. Opinion. I get it. I get but, the message, it just also hinders... I'm fine with the message. It's the fact that it hinders gameplay. Yeah, I, I personally would be fine. Inferno mode. Your armor uh, wrench attack have been okay. greatly increased for a limited time. Your armor has been increased and now weighs twice as much. <laughs> oh shit, I can only- I don't have a gun anymore. In this inferno mode, you just go melee. Oh shoot. I mean, it gives you major armor and, uh, and a lot of damage, but I can't fire a gun. Good to know. Alright. Good to know. And we've got 150, uh, blaster units. 150 what? Blaster units. Like, blaster ammo. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. What's over there? Something. Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Looks like there's some, uh... Stuff. Money. Hey, I'll look. take it. Money, Stuff. ammo, health. <laughs> Money, ammo, health, that's good enough for me. I'll take it. I think the regular nanotech restores two now. <laughs> I could be mistaken on that, but I, I'm pretty sure I just picked up one and got two. <laughs> Well then, you know, I'm curious why they make everything so much higher with, like, the num in terms of numbers. <laughs> you have no idea, man. Like... The later games, you have, like, thousands of <laughs> Well, They like, just up the numbers, like, a fuck ton. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what's the point of increasing the numbers if just for the sake of increasing the numbers? Uh, more granule control over the damage things deal. I personally agree with you. However, that is the answer people will give you if you ask that. I mean, all right. Oops. Oh well. Wait, what? Like it worked fine with only having like huh. with only having like 30 health for the entire game with the second game. Fun fact, even though R1 is the fire button, you can still throw the wrench while holding R1. Huh. Instead of R2. Because I just did it by accident. Interesting. I didn't realize that. I kinda prefer that actually. Oops. Yeah. Huh. You risk wasting ammo. <laughs> and it's kind of dumb, but you can technically do it. If you're holding R1 and press square, he throws. See? Alright. Alright. So far, I'm actually having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like the gameplay has been a lot smoother now. Yeah, it certainly is. It also just feels more action -y. We have company. Hmm. Where? Behind <laughs> you. Where? Behind you. Very funny. You having a good time? You trespass on sacred ground. <laughs> now you walk the cool. path of death. But, sir. Path of death. <laughs> 
<laughs> just throws us into a gauntlet. Path of death. Alright, good to know Quark's still trying to kill us. I guess some things just never change. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious on this thing, but I'll figure it out later. I want to know if it's actually good at all. Oh god. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah, I had this quicker too. Yeah. And I like how they have just a single button to restore all your ammo. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah, apparently so. You just get completely two-dimensional for like half a second. It was very funny. That's classic old video game shit that I love. Yeah, but the weird thing is that it was only for like half a second. Too. Yeah. <laughs> like some animator just animated 2D Ratchet <laughs> and they use it for half a second when you get hit by boulders. Yeah. As far as we know, only in this part of the game. <laughs> yeah. Which would make it just even better. Yeah, it would absolutely make it so much better if it only happened here. <laughs> uh, I think there was something down there. I'm gonna check once I clear this area and two D ratchet. So safely. Two D ratchet. Two D ratchet. <laughs> was that a? No, it was. Just, uh, I, it looked like boxes from the angle I was looking at. It before. I guess it's just death. death. I like how it's telling me now that I can reverse the camera controls. Like, what part of this particular moment implied to you that? Now is a good time to tell me this. Yeah, it's kind of, shouldn't they have just now. told you that on the first level? Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's again. Again. It's again. <laughs> oh, that's those are dudes are cheering me on. Shoot, Guess I shouldn't kill my fans. Shoot down the fans. <laughs> Jeez, that's dark. And that's why uh, you should never show up to my house if you're a fan of our show. We'll fucking kill you. <laughs> this, is, this is a threat. <laughs> well done, well done. Okay. Now let's purchase some ammo. Uh, I Did you just buy something? No, I purchased ammo. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. We walked your path of death. Now... Tell us what you know about Dr. Nefarious. Who? Huh? Dr. Nefarious! <laughs> they say you're the only man to ever beat him. Who? Huh? This guy's even dumb enough. Captain Quark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Captain Quark! <laughs> Ouch. That's it, Quark. You've had this coming for a long time. Yeah, three games worth. Fucking the shit out of Quark. Okay, he's got a boomerang attack, which I can drop do uh, dodge by jumping. He's got some melee attacks, which are no big deals on the oh, attack. Yeah. And as usual, the blaster fucking melts boxes. Yeah, good. oh god. Good to see some things never change. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the bl blaster is better in this game, because not only does it melt bosses just as well, but it's better against single enemies than it was previously, I think. Ah, uh, nice. I mean, look at this. It melts them, too, so. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm, I'm actually dying. <laughs> Fuck. That killed you just me. got hit by three boomerangs in a row. Well, Quark, it took you three games, but you killed me. Well, he uh, killed us in the ship level that one time in the first game. Did he? Oh, yeah, that's true. Is that the only time he's ever killed us? I think so. I wasn't really concerned about fact-checking my own statement. I just said it to make a joke. Well, I mean, I'm fine with that, but I also like to fact-check after the fact. Yeah, no. You're right. You're right. I'm actually, to be... To be surprised, to be honest, I'm actually genuinely surprised that my statement was almost correct. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty sure I was like way off. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, go fuck the ship levels barely count. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. Oh god. And we're in the lava. And the lava deals like one damage, but the boomerang deals three. The boomerang deals three damage. No wonder he killed me. Also, it's waste. Well, okay, that was. I, a, it's it was a good trade-off. <laughs> it was actually the safe play. Yeah. Because you only took one damage boomerang. instead of like three. Yeah, the boomerang looks like it's going to go fast, but then it doesn't. I have, yeah, to, you were, yeah, you I have to stop being uh, jumpy. Yeah, you were at like eight health, and now you're down to five. Yeah, he's dead. That's fine. I got him. All right. Quark is fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> that joke's overplayed. I'm not animating that. I'm not editing that. <laughs> it's fine. The audience knows what we're talking about. <laughs> At this point, if they don't, I'd be surprised. Oh.
we just put like a law and order thing <laughs> over that? <laughs> Where are we? 35 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I already have that clip from last time. <laughs> yeah, we got him, but um, I don't think I deleted that. <laughs> Notice the name. Sasha. That's what I named my D and D character after. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because she is also a uh, female character in space. Um, that doesn't narrow it down much. Uh, she is a anthropomorphic female character in space. Alright, fine. That narrows it down to, like, this and, like, Star Fox, as far as I'm aware. I'm sure there's other things, but those are the only ones I know of. I'm sure st there's Star Trek. There's probably something in Star Trek. You're probably right, I just haven't seen enough Star Trek to know. Technically speaking, since anthropomorphic just means taking the qualities of human, all aliens are anthropomorphic. Are all quite bad. Uh, I mean, I suppose. But you know what I mean. Anthropomorphic animals. Yeah. In space! Yes. Will you marry me? Wait, what? I wasn't paying attention. He was talking about technology. So she was talking about all the cool technology she has here. And he got really into it. Also, naturally, we have to somehow shoot shit while we get to the bridge. I'm pretty sure uh, this is just a hub area. Right. I know you can buy armor, I think, over there. We're gonna find out, though. Oops, sorry. This? I'm sorry, Sasha. This? <laughs> I did not mean to skip your dialogue. This! <laughs> This. One time only, Gadgetrop offers a special discount to all former gadgets. Select this option to check our your hard disk drive. Yeah, cool. We got that. We can do that. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah. I find that funny that the game checks if you have previous, like, ratchet and clank data. Yeah. This is taking longer than I thought would happen. That you have... One time you have been employed by Gadgetron... Employed by Gatchatron, right, because the last game. Yeah, because uh, we were technically employees. 10% discount on all Gadgetron weapons. Oh, cool. Alright. You unlock a new skin, you can select different skins for red. Cool. I'll check it all out right, later. Yeah, whatever. Alright, I guess... Oh, we can afford something now because of our uh, discount. I want to try this. The oh, shit, we can test these. Throw your whip. Oh. Hold R1 and press circle. Oh. Hang on, R1 and press circle? That. But I can just press R1. Why would I? Why would I do that? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh shit! So it's like an alternate wrench. That's kind of okay. cool, actually. All right, all right. That's kind of cool, actually. No joke. I like that they give us the option. Yeah. It I... looks like it's got a lot more range. It deals some decent damage too, from my look, from my experience. Yeah, but these are like the test numbers. We don't actually know for sure. That's true. Um. I do like that it has a huge sweeping area. Yeah, that's definitely going to be good for clearing out the mobs when, yeah. you know, we usually use the wrench anyways. <laughs> Are you going to tell me this every time I open this menu now? I'm just, I'm uh, going to buy this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, let's just do it. Uh, the infector. Oh, and the suck cannon. The suck cannon! We've got the suck. This thing looks cool, if nothing else. <laughs> this is our onboard this. Gadgetron armor this. vendor. <laughs> we'll notify you whenever a new suit of armor is available for purchase. Cool. Yeah, th I knew there was an armor vendor over here. I, I remember playing this game, specifically. Magnaplate. Magnaplate. Uh, reduces by a full 33%. At least it tell us, tells us how much it does now. Sure, that's, that's nice. Unfortunately, we are broke now. Yeah, uh, I'll get it later. Uh, ooh, cheats. Cheats. Skins. Current armor. Or old school ratchet. Huh. Cool. You can do old school ratchet. I don't I care. Gu I guess. If I don't, you, I don't If like you it. really want to harken back to the glory of the ratchet and clank one days. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for... I, I like the new armor, though, so... Yeah. 
Oh, you can rewatch the uh, cutscenes. Hmm. Cool. Oh, that's right. all there is in here. I, I guess we're okay. not missing anything. Minor pet peeve. The start button does not exit you from the menu. <laughs> <laughs> that bothers me. <laughs> so if you see me sitting on that menu not remembering how to close it for a few seconds, that's why. Alright. This is empty. Okay. Yeah, you are standing there. Uh, is this a door that can open? It is. Sorry, I'm just I'm just checking everything out. I don't know what's here. I know the bridge is up front, and that's where I'm supposed to go. But... What is this Mass Effect? <laughs> well, I guess there's plenty of trophies to be had. Why is this hub ship so big? What is this fucking Mass Effect two? Mass Effect two is not that. In case the context clues were not incredibly obvious. I was I'm actually kind of surprised it let me walk through here. <laughs> I was expecting to hit an invisible wall. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh, I guess we found where we're supposed to put it. Yeah. Well, I guess I was supposed to come into this area. How do you think he got like this? Well, the life of an intergalactic superhero can be very stressful. <laughs> Maybe he got too much uh, cock and ball torture <laughs> from the end of the previous game. Yeah, that is what was happening at the end of the previous like, game. Like, that's literally what it was. They just fucking mind break, mind broke him. Yeah, with CBT. Yeah! <laughs> Get back to work! Oh jeez, that actually hit him. <laughs> Sorry. If you have a vid comic, you can play it here. Alright, I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll find out. I'm sure we will. It's either a bonus thing or it's a story thing for later, I don't know. Meet me on the bridge. I will. This is the Phoenix VR deck. Here you can train in combat simulations. Oh, I didn't know this game had VR. <laughs> huh. Ahead of its time. Uh, all right. There's some challenges. It gives us money. I'm doing it. All right, free money. Yeah, free money. Free money. Plus, when the game actually oh jeez. Plus, when the game actually functions, it's uh, it's not bad to do some combat. God damn it. The thing's range is longer than mine. I need to not do this. Alright, that's it. Alright. Go. That's it. Gun time. I've At least they give me free ammo. I've seen plenty of people try to outsmart me. I've yet to see them outsmart me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm moving to this angle so I can kill them while also getting ammo. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's some iron. Also, yeah, definitely nice that they start you out with the shotgun. Yeah, that's because that was my favorite weapon in the previous game. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I'm I'm surprised Ratchet and Clank doesn't do the conventional thing of starting you with the blaster. Yeah, I mean they started you with the blaster in the second game. Did they? I thought they started you with the bomb glove. No, they start or you know the equivalent. They started you with the uh, mini nuke and the blaster. Right, I swear this is the last one I'll do for now. Alright. Uh, you die. Welcome to die. But the first game you get in the first- Oh. Or, oh yeah, we have this again. Oh, they don't even change them. That's alright. I'm pretty sure there's more than one update. Okay. Which is why they don't bother with them changing the name. Because they would have to like come up with new names each time, which would be a little awkward. Yeah. Um, but the first gun they give you in the first game is the fucking bomb gun. Yeah. Which like, the game which does not the blaster. Yeah, it's not the blaster. I mean, the blaster has been like one of the first things you can buy. But yeah. It's not something they give to you. But like most games, fucking start you with a pistol. Yeah. And which the blaster is very much like. This game is just like, oh yeah, start with this thing. Why? I don't know. Because it's cool. <laughs> Except it's not, because it's the fucking bomb glove. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the only thing besides the wrench. So, like, in terms of cool factor, it's hard for anything to, com to like, yeah. compare. Yeah, or that early on. Because they're like, oh, this is cool. We can, like, shoot things down from afar. And, like, that was all we had to compare it to. Yeah. Was the wrench. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The first game is a very simple uh, pleasure. <laughs> Or, or not pleasure. Simple if you, uh, pain. 
Yeah, not pleasure if you play it in modern day. <laughs> it's a simple experience, but it's anything but pleasure. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to kill you, I guess. Those are punches, I guess. I didn't realize that's what those guys did. Because I've killed them all before they had the chance for more. You're out. Uh... Oh, you're right. Thanks. Uh, okay. <laughs> The bomb glove, but better. And by better, I mean actually functional. These challenges will be a nice thing to do in the future, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste all our time right now. Yeah. Hey, our two buddies in front And there's two here. Alright, go to bridge. Uh, okay, I was gonna say. What's actually the point? These messages. You can disable help messages. I, I lost control of my character for a couple seconds there, and I thought the game froze wait, when I pressed wait, go to hold on. Before you go to the next room, what was the point? I don't know. Why not just have, like, a big hallway down there? I don't know. We're losing the signal. So they're just showing off their I guess. development, I guess. This is another one of my pet peeves, where the video cuts out, but specifically... Oh, oh my the citizens of the Solana Galaxy, the hour of your liberation is at hand! <laughs> Have we robots suffer under the bigotry, the stupidity, the squishiness and foul stench of organic life forms? <laughs> Soon, all robots will bask in the liberty and equality of my benevolent, iron-fisted rule. <laughs> <laughs> As for you filthy organic life forms... <laughs> like how he has a fucking sign language. ...to be disintegrated! <laughs> Point of view, you're an organic life form. <laughs> 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 As he's just God standing over here. We're going in. We'll see you on Arcadia. Also, uh, where is that chick? Welcome to the best just... fucking villain in the whole series. <laughs> where is who? This person? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just reminded of. I'm reminded of that one uh, captain from Treasure Planet. Yeah. Uh, that 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 just struck me. Then. Yeah, the cat lady there. Yeah. I don't know. She's cool. Treasure Planet is fucking cool. Treasure Planet is the shit. In general. Like, it's way underrated. I saw it when it came out, and it's still good even today. I did not see it when it came out. I, I had it on VHS. I had it and on... And that's where I first I saw it. I had it on, like, uh, what was it? The DVD? But, like, we've had it forever. Or maybe it wasn't VHS. Maybe it was DVD. I don't know. I think that was... I think it was during the transition era. Yeah. I don't know. I think Treasure Planet was made after the time when... VHS had gone out of stock. I had a lot of VHSs from back then. Oh, yeah. Might have been before that, though. I know that I, whenever I went up to oh, my great aunt's cottage, mm -hmm. you know, she would have like a fuck ton of VHSs. Whenever I, as a kid, would go up there. Yeah. I have a goal now. Showing right? off my age. <laughs> That's alright. I, I totally get it. I am the same age. Um, you can upgrade your starfighter systems at this console. Good thing they sort of consolidated everything. Ooh, That's nice. choose the color. A completely waste of money, but... But it's only 500 gold. It's worth mentioning. I think this is also completely a waste of money. Scoop. Scoop. Yeah, I think this is all cosmetic. Heavy ordnance. Now, that might be diff. That might actually mean something. Like how do we know what's actually improving our ship? I don't think any of these are, to be honest. I was just curious. I mean, alright. Did you just unceremoniously chuck Ratchet onto the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! There's like, <laughs> get him! <laughs> we know who's the hero. <laughs> Next real level, here we go. Alright. That one wasn't a real level, so yeah. I just figured I'd fuck around in that room for a bit. Mm-hmm. No, it's fine. 
Markadia. So are we just saying? sort of revisiting some of the oh, first yeah. games levels? That thing I was saying about the transmission. And yes, kind of. <laughs> the thing I was saying about the transmission. That's one of my fucking pet peeves is when there's a message that's cutting out, but it cuts out specifically, like, in a very obviously scripted way where you hear all the important <laughs> words. Yeah, it's... It's... Yeah. It's like, this is clearly, like, designed this way. It wasn't a message cutting out, you know? Yeah, it's just pretending to cut it. Yeah. That always bugs me when games do that. Or movies, for that sake. Movies do it, too. Chip is under attack. Need assistance now. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> oh, this just melts boxes. Well, that's good. That's a really good use for it. <laughs> it also does consume ammo. What? Yeah. Oh, we'll be we're, right we're, back. We're still out of blaster. Oh, uh, sorry. We should have bought some. It's my bad. I used it all and it didn't buy anymore. It's not a big deal. Ammo is pretty easy to come by in this game, from what I remember. Okay. Also, apparently, so are upgrades. Yeah, like, we've had this blaster for, what, one level? Yeah, we've, we've had this for, like, we've been, we're, like, ten minutes in. We've already upgraded two weapons. Yeah, but the thing is, in the first game, the upgrades were, like, one and ten. Technically, in the first game, there were no upgrades. Or the second game. That's what I mean. I figured. Oh, they bounce now. Oh, nice. So that's kind of So cool. it actually has the potential to give new properties to the weapons. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. In the later games, you, you buy those sort of properties. Okay. But you buy them with a separate currency, not with regular money. Huh. So, like, uh, you don't feel like you have to choose between buying upgrades or new weapons. Okay. Yeah. That's nice, I guess. Yeah, the later games really do a lot of quality of life changes, and apparently they have done it gradually throughout the games, as we have seen thus far. Well, I mean... Oh, jeez, that was a lot of damage. You don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> like, you just whip out the wrench, like, <laughs> you're not good enough for a gun. Like, you're not worth wasting it. Yeah. Guns are too good for you. It was just insult to injury. <laughs> what okay. is this, the bomb? <laughs> Careful there, man. Don't jinx it. <laughs> we might end up having to kill the final boss with the bomb glove again. Or at least this game's equivalent there. Yeah. If this game even had. I highly doubt that it still has the bomb. No, I'm guessing that thing where it checked our memory card would have given us the old weapons if they had them. Yeah, but I guess they're just like, no, nah, we don't want to give you the old weapons. Yeah, I think they decided to actually face them out this time. You use the new machine. Yeah. Which I'm on board with, because the new yeah. guns are good. Definitely. At least so far. Okay, this is, this is an invisible one. Um, how does the help? Never mind, that's a dumb question. There's a thing up here, but I don't think we can get to it yet. Um, yeah. It looks like there's a railing there, even. Yeah, to make sure you can. Yeah. You're probably supposed to go around somewhere to get it. Are you dashing? Um, the crouch button and then X, I mean, while you're moving. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, I see guess if you they have the that. see if you have the the super dash. Press the uh, R two twice in a row while moving. No, ah, I guess they walked that back. Which is a big shame because I did like the super. Super dash was nice for covering long distances. <laughs> did you see those bullets fucking ricochet into the fucking enemies? Inferno power. I like the armor it gives you. Yeah. Get over here. <laughs> what the fuck was that animation? Fucking high quality animations in this game all of a sudden. Yeah, just for that one guy. <laughs> yeah, just that one fucking round off he did. 
you know they definitely spent, you know, at least an hour or two perfecting that ground. Up. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Some animator fucking spent his day on that. <laughs> <laughs> this man. Gotta make this round off look amazing. Hey, listen, my dude. If you are the animator of that round off, we appreciate you. <laughs> I hope that you've had a good career. Yeah. This is some recognition from us to you. <laughs> some people do recognize this crazy shit. <laughs> I really wish we were famous, and then, like, the dude actually fucking just, like, like, commented, like, you know, man, thanks. <laughs> Right. Don't get enough recognition for my roundup uh, innovation. <laughs> oh yeah, can't wait for the mission of returning to your ship. That's yeah, it's considered a mission. <laughs> Apparently so. So something that's bothering me is that apparently Dr. Nefarious is like this robot supremacist guy. Yes. But the dudes we've been fighting seem to be like organic life forms. Are they? They seem to be. Yeah, I mean, these guys are. Yeah, the people we're fighting with are robots, actually. Yeah, that, that's kind of weird. That is odd. I mean, the Federation has been like a, co a combination of organic and robots. So I don't it's remember. Not, it's not surprising that, you know, there are robots on our side. But I don't... I'm surprised that there are any organic life forms that are fighting for Dr. Nefarian. Yeah. Maybe they just like, they're like, well, robots are kind of inherently better because they don't age or anything and have had medical issues, so I guess we want to be them. So then, like, they side with him. But he just, but he specifically said that he's going to, like, crush and disintegrate any organic life forms. That is true. That is true. It's not like a sort of, you know, assimilation thing that he's advocating for. He's like, no, you're all going to fucking die. I know I've already brought up Mass Effect, like, three times, but maybe it's like Mass Effect. Where it's like the Reapers, where they're like, hey, maybe if I just follow their orders willingly, they won't fucking dominate my mind and kill me. Because that I, was that was the... Spoiler alert, that's the premise of the villain from Mass Effect 1. I mean, alright, but like, I don't know enough about Mass Effect to argue. Yeah, it's not an important spoiler, it's pretty much the whole premise of the plot. I assume that's something you find out for... Um... I mean, the game is old enough that most people are aware of the Reavers by now. Yeah. It's basically integrally linked to the existence of the Reavers, so. Sure. It is technically a spoiler, but I think everybody knows the Reavers exist by now. Alright. Alright, are we just going to keep doing missions, or... I... guess so? Question mark? I mean, it does seem like the plot is advancing. No, wait, this is the same area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just, like, whatever. Maybe? But we haven't been told anything else to do yet. Maybe next time you complete a mission, just check your, uh, like, menu thing. Like, your, your map to see if there's objectives listed on there. Because mm -hmm. that was helpful in the last two games. Yeah, I wonder if they still have this. Yeah, I agree. Like, a, a summary of what, each, what, what things are available on each planet. So that we know what we can do. I'm pretty certain we already did everything on the first planet. It was a pretty linear, small planet. Yeah. But this one... This one might be different. Yeah, this one's got some stuff going on, apparently. I do like that there's AI companions, though. That's kind of neat. Yeah, me. that's cool. It doesn't really matter, but it makes you feel like something matters. Sure. <laughs> it makes you feel like you're actually part of something, rather than just... The lone wolf just fucking running around, blasting all these dudes, blasting all the robot supremacists. I definitely have some political hot take jokes, but I'm I'm choosing not to say. I mean, the jokes just write themselves. They really do. Uh, let it just let it be known. Whatever uh, dumb joke is going through your mind right now. Uh, just pretend I said that. Yeah. <laughs> we, we are absolutely willing to take credit for your thoughts. <laughs> I have invented a device by which I can uh, implant right. thoughts into your mind via uh, Ratchet and Clank. Let me see. Oh, I guess we're... Or just hit exit. Uh, triangle, triangle. 
Can you not exit? No, there's no triangle. There's oh, I guess no, you can no escape. return to ship. No escape. No escape. I'm gonna go get some juice at some point, but not right now, because I really want to see what's right. going on here before I leave. I don't want to leave you alone with the audience. An audience of one. Yeah. It's an audience of one. Oh, that's an orgy for one by Ninja Sex Party. It's <laughs> my terrible rendition of that. Alright, so do we have a map up here? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, square for missions, see if it says anything. Secure the area, get to the palace, fly to Marquis. Those are the things... Secure, the compound must be secured. Fight I guess we do have to do those missions. Alright, I guess we're just doing the missions that don't feel like missions. Hang on, go to, can you, can you, you from go. that menu that you were just in, can you go to other planets? Can you look at other, uh, next map and previous map is L1 and R1. Go right. to previous maps. Now hit missions on here and see what it says. Oh. Oh, Security. these are like overall missions. Oh, okay. Okay, good to know. So, so this just straight out tells us what to do for the plot. That's very good. I like that. We don't have to all go right. looking around all the fucking maps. It also means that there probably aren't a whole lot of like branching or side missions. In this yeah, game. it definitely seems very linear, which I'm totally fine with. I mean, I'm not making judgment calls. I'm just pointing that out. That this does look like it's going to be a more linear experience. I'm totally time. fine with that. I like story games, especially when they just tell me what to do. <laughs> okay. I, I know that might be a hot take for some people. I mean, it depends on the game, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, I guess. There's definitely some, some value to exploration, but so a lot of the says, time when I'm trying to get through something, I just, I just want to know where I'm going. So it says secure the area as, like... Yeah, so I think you have to do that. But we already secured the area. Oh, well, maybe you have to do the other missions. All right, well, we'll, we'll try it out. Yeah, try and at least beat the second one and see if it doesn't. I'm going to get some juice because now. Because I was kind of playing like trash during uh, that mission. I'd love to give you a roleplay prompt like I do to the guys when we're on streams, but there's only one of you, so figure out something to roleplay with yourself. Um, all right. I'm going to roleplay the role of somebody that's actually good at this game. Alright, that's that. I wonder if we gotta, like, destroy this thing. Okay. I'm surrounded, so apparently I'm not doing a good job of role-playing. As somebody who's good at this game. <laughs> Is that what you were doing while yes. I was gone? I like that joke, it's a good one. Alright. That's the thing I've been doing for streams. What? Whenever I have to leave the room for some reason and therefore, you know, leave a boring thing going on for stream, I always just uh, pick two people who I'm on Discord with at random right. and say, uh, you are, uh, a cat, um, looking for, uh, a mouse, and other person, uh, you are, uh, the owner of the cat who thinks your cat can talk, but it can't. <laughs> and then I, like, right. leave the room. <laughs> and then usually as I'm leaving the room, I hear one person say something really awkward, and then I miss the whole rest of it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Like, I just give really fucking bizarre prompts to people. <laughs> it's great. I think the first one I said, I think the first the first one when I started doing this was, um, I said, okay, uh, Justin, I don't know if it was Justin, but it might have been Nathan. I know the other one was Jaren. But anyway, I was like, uh, I was like, so Justin, uh, you are an old man uh, looking to hire a prostitute. A confused old man, specifically, I said. All right. And I said, and Jaren, you are the employee at a Wendy's drive-thru. Go. And I laughed. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. The cat thing, I was trying to deliberately come up with something that wasn't very good. <laughs> because I didn't want to waste a good one on 
oh it's something boy. we wouldn't actually do. Oh boy, turret levels. <laughs> Please no. And I'm with you there. Can we actually blow this shit up? <laughs> wow. That's slow. Yeah. Is that thing on the right also an enemy? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. That's an hour. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you do have an enemy on your six. Well, actually, they killed him. Alright, there's another one there, but he's taking them out. So, yeah. It's a good thing that our allies are good for something. Yeah, they do seem pretty decent. Although, I think one of them got killed because I only see three clips. So, they can get killed. Alright, it's just they have a lot of help. Yeah. Honestly, that's how you should do allies, is give them a lot of help. I like yeah. how there's one just stuck in the fucking pool over there. Just like, we're, I'm gonna help, eventually. <laughs> He'll be the last one alive, because he's not doing anything on there. <laughs> My kill to death ratio is amazing. <laughs> I have one kill and zero deaths. Yep. That's, a, that's infinity when you do the math. Yeah. I, I have infinite kill to death ratios. <laughs> A flawless KD. I'm pretty sure when you actually calculate KD, if you have zero deaths, they just treat it as one, I think. <laughs> if you think about it, all real soldiers have a really high kill to death ratio. Uh, because the ones that are alive, yes. Yeah, because if they do, then they do. Fair. That's a... <laughs> Where, who, is, who the fuck is shooting? I don't know, but you're not taking damage. Oh, okay. Now you're dead. The turret just got destroyed, I guess. Alright. You want me to do it? No. Okay. Don't molly coddle. <laughs> molly coddle. <laughs> That's a word. Yes. Because I said it. <laughs> Is it actually a word? Yes. I thought so. I was just like, it's a really funny word. I am behind on Critical Role, again. Uh, I only say this because... Molly. Molly. Yeah, that reminded me of that. Uh, Poor Molly. He deserved better than what he got. Mm-hmm. A hundred times over. Are you caught up? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I think I'm, like, one, one episode behind, but I'm, I'm always one episode behind. I keep seeing shit on Twitter that's, like, marked as spoilers, and, like, I keep thinking it's a huge fucking spoiler, and then realizing that, like, I didn't understand the context at all, and it was, it was a huge spoiler, just not in the way I thought. Right. So I've decided to just stop making judgments based on things I see on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, aside from, like, characters potentially dying and not coming back, it, there's not really spoilers for critical damage. There kind of is. Not recently. There hasn't been a lot of shit happening yeah. recently. I mean, except for TravelerCon. Yeah. But that, nobody that really spoiled a, that on Twitter for me. That was a pretty big twist, but, like, I don't think it, I, it was something that would probably be hard to spoil. Welcome to the video where we break all the YouTube rules by dating the video and uh, talking about other YouTubers. <laughs> oh, so I was, like, one second away from finishing that mission. Yeah, I was pretty sure you were pretty close. All right. Well, well, more stuff. So they're repairing it. You have to defend it for one minute fifty-two seconds. Okay, it's just to survive. Current objective: survive. Your wrench does a lot of damage in yeah. this game. Well, I think this is the like the upgrade the, wrench. The, yeah, it's the skin for like the upgraded wrench. Yeah, I'm pretty so, sure you kept the upgraded wrench from last time. Or at least the skin. Yeah, but it also seems like they boost the damage, like, roughly the same amount. Yeah, by a lot. I mean, after all, it is a melee weapon in a yeah. gun play, basically. Yeah, it does make sense, because getting close is risky either way. So it makes sense that there's some level of reward for that. Yeah. The risk, you're up close. The reward, they die fast. Yeah. And you don't waste that. That's true. I haven't considered the ammo. But that is true. Had to cross my mind. 
I mean, that said, the ammo in this game is pretty high. Yeah, like I said. Everything has a pretty high capacity. And even the things that don't, it's like, there's enough ammo drops on the map that it's not a big deal. A lot of the previous games had an issue where it wasn't so much the capacity that was the problem, it was the fact that you couldn't get it back very well. Yeah, you, there was like, once you used it, you're going to be out for a while. Yeah, which exactly. is Which is something that really came to a head during the final boss battle. <laughs> when, like, one. you basically had exactly. to use every single ammo for every weapon you had. Yeah, no, that's true. I remember having a really tough time with the final boss of 2, my first playthrough, but I was also much younger. Yeah, I mean, we beat it second try, so it wasn't that fair. Yeah. Was it second try? Yeah, because I played it and, and lost, then I, and then you yeah, played it and won. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I've done this before. <laughs> it was hard the first time. It's not as hard this time. I know what to expect, more or less. Mission accomplished. I, I, I did end up using the bomb glove. <laughs> yes. Which is definitely the big meme. It is the biggest meme. Use the bolt cranks to activate the automated turrets. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing this, but it's always good to do for bolts at least. So what are we doing? Um, you gotta find bolt clamps. There's one right there. That is bolt crank. Right there on the right. <laughs> and then square. And then you go. Are you holding one direction or are you spinning? I'm spinning. Can yeah. you hold one direction? I'm just curious. Yes. Okay, because in the other game you couldn't. You actually had to fucking spin. I'm assuming I did the things. You did. That's what you're supposed to do. But you need a few of them. Oh, no. Yeah, these things are a thing. That's all I have to say about that. It's basically just hope you don't get hit while doing it. Spin to win. Yeah, spin to win. What games have spin to win in them? Uh, uh this doesn't spoil anything, but Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Does it? Yes. I did not know that. Uh, it's always, it's quoted a lot in Dark Souls, because there's a lot of weapons that have weapon arts that spin. Yeah. yeah it's specifically in DS3. I don't know about yeah. I don't think DS1 really does uh, that. There, there's one really spammable weapon art for the main character. That's just like, yeah. Spin. That's just, you keep spinning. Because nice. the game expects you to have a cooldown for it, but you can, like, ignore the cooldown. Wow. So it's like, yeah. So you can just keep doing it, which effectively makes you invincible? Not invincible, but it lets you just keep attacking over and over for solid damage. Nice. Which is pretty Why is there lava in front of the fucking mayor's house? Maybe the mayor is just a fucking badass. <laughs> He's got a fucking lava moat. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is a thing. I mean, dudes with a... Dude, if you have a lava moat at your house, you're just expecting to be sieged. <laughs> you know? Or, I mean, you're either expecting to be sieged? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, what, which came first? Did, the moat or the siege? Yeah, like, is it just, oh, I've been sieged, like, five times this past month, better build a lava moat? <laughs> or yeah. is it, like, I'm gonna build a lava moat, just try to get out me? How much do you have to piss people off to justify the investment of a lava moat? <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of introverts myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe it's not a matter of pissing people off. Maybe it's a matter of just not tolerating other people. What is this guy's voice like? My daughter tells me you're a man who's got something I didn't get out We are defenseless without it. I think I'm doing a pretty good impression. <laughs> he definitely sounds like a uh, someone I'm aware of. I don't know, he sounds like somebody from Florida. He definitely sounds like someone I'm aware of. Goat. I swear, there's some famous person who has this really terrible accent like this. Oh boy. Alright. Or maybe it's just like the voice you do when you're mocking people. Yeah, except he's mocking everyone. Yeah. Because he's the president. Yeah. Um, no wonder people hate him. <laughs> yep. He's like, fuck the president. Alright, uh, I guess we're going to the laser defense facility. Nice. Because we're just following the missions. 
So far, though, I, I, like, understand the plot of this game, like, a thousand times better than any of the previous ones. This is true, although I completely <laughs> missed the plot of what he was trying to tell us, because we were making we, we, fun of him. Yeah, I, I got it because I vaguely remember, and also because I heard enough details to be reminded. We're basically trying to get Quark his memory back, oh, so yeah. that he can help us defeat Nefarious. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I, I heard that, but it just... I forgot. It, it just didn't click. Alright, so now we've got the refractor. What does that do? Uh, it's a utility thing, so don't get more than right. for these guys. Alright, and I guess we're changing levels, so it's your turn. Oh, yeah, sure. I also know what to do with the refractor, so I will, uh... Does it just reflect things? Yeah, I think that beam over there, you have to reflect. Well, then why did you just call it the reflector instead of the refractor? Well, you refract light, right? That's... it's still... Yeah. Correct. But, like, I'm sure it can refract other reflectors. Reflect, I think, implies, like, launching back at them. Yeah, but, like... Refract is, like, change the angle. Yeah. So I think that's why they had that naming convention, although it is... I agree, it's pretty minor and stupid, but... I believe that is the rationale behind it. Oh, it stays there, too. Oh, interesting. That's neat. And um, it just murdered it. <laughs> yeah, it... It just walked into that shit. Cool. Easy win. Easy money. Easy. I turned into Dunky. <sighs> you like Dunky? I don't really follow him, but I don't really have any strong opinions either way about him. I kind of like this gadget. I mean, it is one of those classic examples of something that, like, has one purpose and it does that and that's it. Something super situation. Yeah, I, I, it, it is definitely an issue like that, but at the very least, it makes for some interesting puzzles. Yeah, I sure hope that it doesn't take up a spot on our weapon here. Oh, wait, it does. It might be different, though. We might have the the, the, wep the better weapon wheel now. Yeah, we do. See? We have two pages. Oh, we do? Yeah, see? We have two pages. Oh, interesting. Yep. It's so the better weapon we wheel now. 16 uh, weapons. Yep. Choose from. I don't think we have a customization. Oh, we do. Damn it. At least we have 16, though. Let's see, how many slots are there, though? The, on the weapons? Well, go back. Oh, that was not what I meant to do, sorry. Go. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So there's 20 weapons and 8 tools. How do I go to the other weapon wheel? Like, I did that before. L1, R1? No, that's that's spinning this thing around in a circle. Oh. That's what that's doing. Hold down L2 or L2? I pressed R2 and it went to here. Oh. That's what I did earlier and then said, oops, that's not what I meant okay. to do. And that went to gadgets. Huh. I don't fucking know how to get to the other page. Hmm. Well... Maybe you can't go to it because I don't have enough... Oh, switch rings. It says it on the bottom. Square. Where? That's the bottom of the screen. Switch rings. Square. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. Okay. So that's better. So we have 28 potential things we could stick on the wheel, but 16 slots. Which I guess is better than what it yeah, was before. it's better than 8 slots. It's better than what it was before, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me tell you what, Bobby. <laughs> Nathan can do a much better impression of that than either of us. Well, yeah, because Nathan's just a ventriloquist. Pretending to be a <laughs> scientist, I guess. I, uh, oops, how do I get off this? Do I just not? Do I just keep trying Okay, I see. I guess you yeah, just have to keep doing it. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> you have to keep doing it until it's done. I have to keep doing it until the game thinks it's done. Yeah. Uh, the up down aiming on that is kind of wonky, but. Like, it's way higher than you expect it to be based on the camera angle. Alright. It's not a big deal, but I, it is noticeable. I mean, it wasn't. I think it's fine because the. Um, what was it? The blaster now bounces, so you can bounce it off the ground and still hit the dude you were trying to hit. If you, like, aim your camera too low. Right, I was talking about the refractor, though. Oh, right. For the for that specific puzzle. Keep... You can't... You really cannot... Okay, I was gonna say, you really cannot get off of this, can you? But no escape. You can, it's just square instead of the back button. Okay. I kept expecting it to be the back button. From the, from the same as the menu back button. Hmm. I wonder if I can put this directly into... No, I cannot. I definitely cannot. So I will just not. This level's alright. How do I do this though? Okay, I guess I can just do this. I was worried it was gonna hit me if I stood too close. But I guess it's not. Oh shit, I can stand right in it. Okay, good to know. That actually makes this way easier. Alright. Okay. 
Uh, alright, it was just taking a while. I was wondering what was up with that. Oh. Tilted weapons. Get out of here. Tilted towers. Tilted towers. Sorry, I stole on the fucking refresh. There should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. Use the beam to lead the spider drone over the symbol and then zap it with the laser. Okay. Something about a spider. Spider drone? Oh, that thing. Um, the drone with the laser. Okay. Alright, I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, he's chasing the he's chasing the thing. No? Is he is he how do I aim how do I The aim controls on this thing are incredibly wonky. I I don't understand how I'm supposed to lead him, that's what I'm not getting. Yeah. Like like, where is he? Is he going to the beam? I guess so. Alright, so I guess we gotta lead it towards something. You gotta lead it towards that symbol, that's what Sasha said. But it's like, not following. It has to be close, apparently. Like, right. Pretty damn close. And also, the like I said, the controls on this particular beam are kinda wonky. Alright. Alright, whatever. It's fine, we did it. Yeah, whatever. Can I, uh... I not have that yet, apparently. Yeah, these are just straight up animals and organic things fighting for Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, that is kind of odd, isn't it? I'm sure there must be something about it, but... Yeah. Oh, or maybe there isn't. And they just have to have, like, random dudes. I think because, they're just, like, fanboys. Because otherwise, you're just fighting robots for the entire game, and that would probably get boring. I mean, what difference does it make whether they're robots or not, though? Uh, it's nothing mechanical, but probably for aesthetic purposes. I guess. They wanted to sort of mix it up. I guess. I feel like you can be pretty various with robots, though. Um, where am I supposed to shoot this? Uh, so, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. You've got two Oh, shit, there. okay. Uh, that's why I was confused. There's two of them. Oh, I have to go cross. Uh, you have to cross the beam. Maybe? No? Well, there's something about those guns. That's odd. Maybe you have to hit it from a very specific angle? Oh, I think I have to hit it from above. I think I have to do it from up here. No? Is that not clear? Uh, I, I'm being an idiot. I probably just have to do this first. Yep! I'm an idiot. Yep. Wait! Oh, I see. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Hang on. Oh, fuck. It goes back. Alright, I guess I do have to put it all the way. Alright, and then you have to reflect it into it. Yeah. And then count. Yeah. Well, I'm just being dumb. We're, no, we're just overthinking. Yeah. That is true. That was pretty much just textbook overthinking. <laughs> I didn't even do that to you, my oh, dude. He just runs into the laser. He just had a death wish. I mean, let's be honest. If you're fighting the main character in a video game, you have a death wish. I guess so. Okay, let's see what my plan is here. I guess I'm inevitably going to have to do this, so I might as well do it. Yeah. And then and it's just, just a like, matter of refracting. And you're like, just like, oh, hey, why do I have to do this? You got it. Because you do. Don't think, don't, don't ask questions. You just gotta do it. Yeah. I like that the refractor just makes you immune to the beam. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. Makes it easy to use. Yeah, that's true. Not like the fucking portal boxes. Don't get me wrong, I love Portal, but the Portal boxes are not that good. I have not played Portal. Ah! Portal's hey, great. Got the got the shield shield yet? It has reflector boxes that function the same way as that, that? except that they do not prevent you from zapping yourself. Excuse <laughs> me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. How can you use the city's defense to play a video game? 
<laughs> and then I installed Doom. <laughs> Can Ratchet and Clank play Doom? <laughs> You have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DD3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive check on the signal matrix. Do you think uh, Doom Guy would do better in Ratchet and Clank's universe, or do you think Ratchet and Clank would do better in Doom Guy's universe? I don't know. I think it's a matter of firepower. Like which per which character has more firepower available? To yeah, and that's hard to quantify because we don't know the relative toughness of their enemies. Yeah, because like these guys are just like robots and shit, but. Doom Guy is fighting demons, and we don't know if demons are stronger than robots. They ain't stronger than Doom Guy, that's all I know. This is true. <laughs> I came from the stretch, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And like, <laughs> Ratchet and Clank doesn't have a toughness, okay, or like a difficulty level. I thought I should have done that No, that, that was the thing I was talking about where I was on the menu for a while, because I was trying to figure out what the fuck. Play the quark with Oh shit, I just have to actually do that. Do I do it here? No, I think I do it back at the gym. So I got what I came here for. Cool. Uh, yeah. Any ammo from here? Alright. Cool though. Well. Sorry, were you saying something about Doom? Oh yeah, I was saying that Doom has multiple difficulty levels, but Ratchet and Clank doesn't. So it's hard to tell, like, oh, well, fair, fair. these two characters are having a... This one character is having a tough time beating their enemies, but Doom Guy isn't. Like, that's not really a fair excuse. Yeah, that's also heavily up to the player's skill. Yeah. Well, some... Some games are just subjective. Yeah, that's also true. What do we got here? The infector. The suck cannon. The suck with the and two And the spitting suits. hydra. This is the electrical thing. Oh yeah, this is our replacement for the Tesla coil. All right. I think I'm just gonna start buying them in linear order. All right. In term, in linear order, in terms of like, like where they appear, or in terms of price. Uh, like left to right. Okay. Unless you have an opinion. I, I would just buy whatever looks cool, honestly. I, but that's just me. Yeah. I'm just OCD and like to have a lot of shit, so I just... Alright, well, do what you want. What do we, uh... You have the controller. Oh, I don't have the test thing here. This, to be honest, though, the suck cannon's probably pretty shit. Yeah. So maybe not the suck cannon? I feel like this is definitely good. Yeah, because it sort of turns them against each other. Yeah. Uh, we can do that later. Cool lore. Infected enemies will attack and infect other enemies until the infection is Infect off. other enemies. Right. Ah, so it's like a stacking like effect. Like oh, a... interesting. Yeah, he literally just fucking chucks Ratchet into the ship. <laughs> you mean Clank? Yeah, Clank. I mean. Uh, are we just going to the? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You're just like, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Chucks it in like a piece of, like, unscrupulous uh, groceries in a bag. <laughs> Yeet! It's like, alright, we've got the milk. <laughs> Let's get home. <laughs> if you're throwing cartons of milk, man, you should be more careful. Well, they bounce a little bit. <laughs> You have been signed out of PSA. Right. Fantastic. Alright, I'm gonna do a resync in case that fucks something up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I probably should have done that slower, but I'm not going to. Alright, well, we'll know later on. Yeah, I'll figure it out when I'm. You could also right. time code the resync if it Oh, you're up. right. Uh, 129 or so. I'll time code the resync just to be sure. Here, you take this over for a while. Yeah. 129, I said. One. 29. Recent. Now, typically what I do when I uh, edit these videos, besides the uh, besides the time code editing jokes that I make, um, I'll usually just sync it up at the beginning and then jump right to the end and see if it's still synced by that point. All right. So basically, if I if I do that and then realize it's like way off, then I'll know where to jump to. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's fair. 
So that's a good thing I wrote that down, so good idea. Let's see if there's anything that this chick has to tell us now. I like how it's got that effect where it's like a leaving a trail. Yeah, like it's a, like dripping. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's just cool. What the fuck is that sound? You're hearing that oh. too, right? Yeah. Whatever that is? Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know what it's coming from. Uh, I don't think this is the correct area. Although, if you want to talk to Sasha, feel free since you are here. Oh, well, I guess. I think you gotta later on go to the living area. <laughs> And, uh, and that's where you play the big comic. There's nothing here. She, does she have some dumbass fucking smile on her face? Seems very concerned about something. <laughs> yeah, she does kind of have, like, a dopey-ass, like... It looks concerned at rest, but then when she does that little looking around animation, it's like a dopey-ass smile. Yeah, a little bit. Alright. So I was going the right way in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, the living area is... Why did you... Were you going this way and then something stopped you? Yeah, I checked... I like tried to see if this guy would... Oh yeah, it's yeah. not there. It's over there at the TV. Oh. I, my brain didn't even process the fact that you were here at all because I was talking about something. I was, sure, I was two inches away. This is how yeah. Real hero gets it done. Oh no. What is this? Oh no. Oh no. I'm concerned. Butt cheek chin, man. I think this is just lore. These are the real life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic ape. <laughs> In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstone. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, like Captain Quark Captain was already yeah, that a might be the guy from Quest for Booty. I was huh. beating him up with a stick. However, I hope no it is. previous that would be a nice could prepare Quark for his encounter with the dead pirate they, like, Blackstone and his crew. Accidentally foreshadowed. Please don't read this yeah. typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Guess reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Robotic. Now we begin the interactive portion That's of episode title. one. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. Oh what? my god. What oh is Oh my god. Are we really doing this? If apparently don't try that. Don't try to punch them. It's not okay. gonna end well, probably. Shit, they just kind of threw in a fucking quark platformer. I guess we've got a fucking quark level. What is this, fucking epic Mickey? There was one on the left if you're actually trying. Alright, well, I didn't know this was going to go up. I wonder what the secret prize is. The shame of knowing you played this for too long. Probably. Ugh. You got killed by ghost pirates. Alright. Yeah, you might want to check the left there as well. Uh, you didn't put okay. Just in case they kind of like had a sneaky one hidden on the left of the spawn area. I guess. I guess they won't. <laughs> nope, it's a gate. Alright, yeah. glad I made you waste time. <laughs> Have you ever tried playing uh, Mario Maker uh, Versus? No. What's that? There's a... There's a... Okay, the smoke fucking hit. Apparently so. That one didn't even hit you at yeah, all. Yeah, that's a disjointed hit box. Okay, that one was on. <laughs> he he kind of walked right into that one. He did the squirrel thing where you tried to run across one way and then you saw the thing coming and you ran back the other way even though you were already past it and you yeah. just kind of ran into it. You know the squirrel thing. 
No, I don't know. I'm glad you keep the fucking tokens. Yeah, that is nice. Okay. You really gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Give it a few seconds before you walk back into it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh! You fuck that dude. Yeah. Just killed him twice more. <laughs> it's a fucking beat him up platform right now. Oh. oh shit. Those ones fade away. Because they're ghost platforms. Oh. Haha. <laughs> 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 The entire premise of this is bullshit. Yes. Also, the even the premise of ghost robots is just yeah. yeah. It's very ratchet and clank. It is the type of shit this game yeah. does. Ghost robots. I I would be surprised if these were also ghost robot rats. Or I don't think they're robots, but I do think they're ghost robots. I guess press circle to fire. Good. It would be nice if I knew what circle was on this control. <laughs> it's on the right. Alright. Good thing to know these guys are indestructible. Yeah, those things are probably indestructible. How you feel about the fact that you uh, tried to punch them into the beginning now? <laughs> I mean, it was worth trying. I don't feel bad about doing it. <laughs> Cause like I didn't know. I don't know, to me they just look like the type of shit that would be indestructible. Well, even if they look indestructible, I'm still gonna fucking try it. Ghost platforms. Yes. Uh of course the ghost platforms. <laughs> Platforms have a soul, I hope you realize this. Yes. If you destroy any in the future, you are committing murder. Good to know. It's canon now. We are five off, so we've almost got them all. And the level is almost done. Yeah. This is why. There it is. Oh, it's a titanium bolt. I guess we'll use that. Probably. I think it's an upgrade. Though. It's some. It, it's definitely for something. Because I know sometimes games just have those like collectibles as trophies thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in the first game they just flat out did nothing. A nice juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. Uh, there's more levels like this. Yes. But. Not uh, right now, I don't think. I think that, like, you get them occasionally throughout the game. I also believe most of them are optional, if I remember correctly. Alright, that's nice. Oh, only the story ones are particularly relevant. Like, this one has a story excuse because we're trying to bring back Fortune Memory. That's, I think it's just an excuse to make you play this level so that you can see that these things exist. Yeah. No, that's fine. Have you ever played, um, Presentable Liberty? No. Because um, it has a lot of minigames in it that are completely pointless. But the whole game is completely pointless, so... Sure. <laughs> Out of context, that sounds like a bad thing, but that's kind of the point. It's actually a fantastic fucking game. At least story-wise. Alright. Because it's got like a... Like a crazy, like, emotional story. What the fuck? And then like some really wild plot twists hmm. that I will not spoil because they are genuinely fucking incredible plot twists. All right. But the whole point of the game is literally being stuck in one location and having nothing to do. Hmm. So that's why there's a bunch of pointless mini games because it's literally just a waiting game. All right. I mean, it's it's one of those really bizarre fucking indie games. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. <laughs> Ghosts, robots, I wonder if you were idiots. Hey, Professor, step to it. <laughs> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. A charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people. 
named Quark. Oh, fuck. I've got a big heart. <laughs> so, he didn't die. Yet. Yes, I got the fruit basket. Of course he did. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Uh, all right. Yep. There's your lore. I like how the camera got stuck in his face there! It's like, yeah, uh, it's... Ooh! He's yelling, but so are we. <laughs> yeah. His scream was like a meta, like, acknowledgement of how bad that was. <laughs> well, that had some I think that's just because it was ported from PS2, but still, it's hey, fine. <laughs> what kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just heard of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Okay. Haven't we already gotten that fucking item in the previous game? I don't remember. Okay. Oh, on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course! Uh, guess what we're going to? Yep. Let's meet tonight's victim! Oops, I mean, <laughs> contestant, Fred! Poor guy. Fred is a gadget on account who claims he Let's place bets. How do you think this guy's gonna get a blue dude? He's going to get blown up with a bomb. Let's take a look at what he's up against. I think he... Okay, I'd be cheating if I said something now, because he's gonna get burned by the this first fire. I know too much, now, though. Because we've seen the, the first obstacle. He's obviously going to die the first obstacle. Yeah. You were actually fucking right! <laughs> it was a bomb! <laughs> <laughs> He didn't even make it to the first <laughs> obstacle! <laughs> he just got fucking blown up. <laughs> Alright, I'm hooked. I I'm watching this show. What, <laughs> what channel is it on? Right. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking Annihilation Nation. Alright, <laughs> we're not playing the big comic. That's incredibly fucking unfair. <laughs> but yeah, somehow I now. succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> that last thing did not really count as a level if you want to do the Annihilation thing. Eh, uh, sure, fine. <laughs> that quirk thing was some bullshit. That's like the clank levels. Like, it doesn't fucking count. <laughs> yeah. Even though I did pretty much all of the clank levels. Yeah. You get, yeah, you got all the clank levels in the first game, you and got... then I got karma by getting all of the fucking ship levels in the second yeah. game. <laughs> Just like, ha the boot's on the other foot now. Yeah. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> Oh, you also got, like, the only clank level in Ratchet 2. Did I? Yeah. I don't remember that, but I'll, I believe it. We were I probably in, blocked it out. We were in the jail, and we were trying to get out of jail. Oh, yeah, okay. The uh, thing is, I don't remember having to play it. That's the only thing. <laughs> like, I believe it. I just don't remember having to You probably to play blocked it. it out of your memory. Like I said, yeah. I probably fucking... Wiped it from my SD yep. card. <laughs> the instant you were done. Right. Like, where, yep, that didn't happen. Where are we going this time? The center of the galaxy. Apparently. That's where we were aimed. Good to know Annihilation Nation is the center of the fucking universe. Yep. It's not a black hole, it's <laughs> a shitty game show. It's a black hole for culture. I love this canon thing where Ratchet fucking is stuck in Clank's limelight. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I think that's pretty cool. It's a good touch. And I'm done. <laughs> I love how fucking, like, 
brutal that death is too. It's like, oh god, no! As he fucking falls into it. Uh, classic old platformers really had yeah. brutal deaths. Yeah, like, oh god. <laughs> I remember, uh... The, I think the, the death animation from uh, Star Fox uh, Adventures was pretty cool too, wasn't it? Well, like, you fall down, I guess, but, oh. like, then you always have, like, one of those, like, animals to revive you. The, uh, so the you, bomb dads? Yeah, the bomb dads or whatever. The bomb dads. <laughs> like, what is, what is a bomb dad? <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. It's something from Stairfax Temperatures. I, I didn't want to say it in case I had accidentally injected something. No, it, in that's actually the name of it. But like, yeah, but then you said it, I'm like, no, that I actually wasn't thinking wrong. It's actually just that. No, but that is actually the legitimate name from the game, too. Yeah, I'm like... I don't know if they actually, like, say it out loud, but it's pronounced. But yeah. It's yeah, but it's spelled it's Bafam Dad. It's Bafam Dad. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I wasn't just thinking that. Yeah. I'm not crazy. <laughs> no witnesses. <laughs> oh, this looks fun. I genuinely mean that, though. This looks like a... You should just cross the ground. Okay. You would have done more damage up close, and you can get up close pretty safely. Yeah. You just follow the pattern of the fire. I thought this was the safe option. Okay. Okay. They gave you a bunch of health immediately after anyway, so. Yeah. Is this actually random? Well, I guess, like, it's one of two potential routes you have to take. Yeah. So no two runs are going to be quite the same. Yes. I'm just wondering if like they actually programmed it to be random or if it's just scripted and naming it looks like it's random. Because I mean, it's supposed to be a game show. So it makes yeah. sense that they'd make it look like that even if it's not. Yeah. But I don't want to be so <laughs> looking all around while there's things that can shove you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. This fucking wipeout over here. This is the real fall guys. <laughs> yeah. Fall Guys just ripped off Ratchet and Clank 3. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, it's a video game cartridge. Oh... No. The Quark Comic Issue 2. I guess I'm stuck with that. Let's hope we don't have to play that. I should have a I should have a recording where I just fucking speed run all the optional shit in the game while you're not here to not just waste like, more time. Da 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 Yes, it does. Then they refuse to give you any new music. <laughs> 64 uh, had a really good theme. Yeah. In my opinion. Is it just me, or are the 3D Mario games the only one that try new things? Um, kind of. Uh, the 3D Mario games are uh, famous for innovating. Yeah. The right. 2D Mario games largely... Uh, do the same thing, and sometimes they add little stuff. Like, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the first new Super Mario Bros. Well, the new first new one was for the DS. Was it really? I thought yeah. it was the Wii. No, it was for the DS. Oh. That well, was the one that was literally just called New Super Mario Bros. Oh. Well, the first one that did that actually added some new things, but not a lot. It mostly just made a better graphical. I guess. Uh, Mario. Um, but then they've been redoing that formula over and over again since then. Yeah, they haven't really changed much. It's just like, yep, we found our thing. Now we're just gonna keep doing it again with minor twists from here on. And then they did, uh, I guess, what, what's it called, Mario 3D World or whatever? Yeah, which was which is kind of which different. was actually some like then. 
doing new things. Yeah, but it's also technically 3D. Yeah. But the thing is, the weird thing is, like, it is a 3D game, and it's called 3D World, but, but it, it plays more like a classic Mario. Yeah, it doesn't really play like Mario 64. Yeah, it doesn't play like a 64 or a Sunshine or a Galaxy. Well, I mean, those three games kind of play very similar to each other. Yeah. They add new mechanics and make sure it's always fresh, but they do play similarly. Honestly, I felt like Galaxy really had a strong control scheme, but with the mm -hmm. sort of shaking to get adjust your momentum and such. Yeah, they re-released that, I guess, for Switch recently. Yeah, they re-released it, but I, I still have a Wii, so I have no reason to pick up <laughs> the, the re-release. Did you play 2? Ga Galaxy 2, I mean? Yeah. How did, what did you think of it? Um, it was sort of a shift in style. I will say more than anything else. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Courtney Gears. Is this the first we've seen Courtney Gears? I guess so. Oh, huh. She's a she's an actual canon character. Oh. Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is ratchet. Oh, I see you won the territory. It's, it's very I guess. Anyway, there's something added to the two of us. Court personal log, um, entry 101-301. Oh, 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 oh. After I personally vanquished the Toto Pet Menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts yeah, on that's literally just the endangered about. creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, oh. I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausted. And my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. So I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions. <sighs> Time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known, Captain Quark! I mean, alright, as long as he's not gonna fuck us over, yeah. I'm happy that he's getting back into the swing of things. <laughs> okay, he's definitely gonna fuck us over. <laughs> yeah. I agree, this does not sound good. He's probably just going to fuck us over via incompetence. Yeah. Like, not even intentionally, just, like, because he's too stupid to be the yeah. leader. I mean, honestly. Well, were, were we talking about Galaxy? Yeah, I was, I was, I asked you what you thought of Galaxy 2. Okay, yeah. Um, it's, it feels a lot more linear, like. No, yeah, I definitely agree on that. Like it might not actually be lin more linear, but it definitely feels more linear. So, you know how in the first one there are some... Like hubs. There are some galaxies that are like, oh, you're dropped into a sort of big level, and you have to find mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where the star is in yeah. that level. And, yeah. like, shifting... Oh, oh shit. We got an actual cast and crew now. Alright. <laughs> and it's all returning characters, yep. which is nice. Alright. But. <laughs> fucking yeah. marks, skin marks, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the <monkey>. the <laughs> Um. But. You know. In. The, in Galaxy 1, there are some levels that um, the that were just very linear, like you go through and you get the star via this essentially obstacle course, and you, you, there's never any question as where you're supposed to go, and, some, and oftentimes it's like linear hallways, nearly. First, Ratchet and Clank will uh, descend oh, wait, to the seafloor and wait through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or the GAND. 
Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. <laughs> Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious' personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. <laughs> I like his plan. That's crazy! It's we do all the work. It's a cran. <laughs> yeah, what were you saying? Um, about the linear coils. Like, there are some levels in, um, there are some levels in Galaxy 1 that's just linear corridors, and you have to just go down them, and it's essentially just an obstacle course to get sure. the star. Sure. That's like all of the levels in Galaxy 2. Yeah. As opposed to some of the galaxies in Galaxy 1, where it sort of harkens back more to 64. Yeah. Where, like, oh, there's this one level, and depending on which star you select it, you have a different mission in the level. I'm thinking kind of like the uh, Honeybee Galaxy. Is it my turn? Uh, yes, it is. Alright. If we're gonna keep having this Mario discussion, then I'm gonna go do the Quark yeah. comics. Alright. If you insist. So that we don't get any more. Actually, it'll give us a little bit of story at the start. But then I'll have a long period of time where we know there won't be any story. Alright. So let me, let me get through the beginning of this. I want to, uh, let me get through the dialogue at the beginning. <laughs> All right. And then I'll just do the stupid fucking thing. We can talk about Quark, comic episode two. Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids. Born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. They called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. <laughs> now, where were we? The moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. I like how this is under the guise that, um, that we're trying to learn how Quark beat him. When, let's be honest, the way we're going to beat him in this game is to just fucking shoot him, because that's everything we always do. Yeah. Like, that's how we're going to do everything, because that's how every enemy is defeated in this game. <laughs> yeah. So, Mario. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was the big difference that I noticed, is that there's, I get that there's a lot less exploring, even for the even some of the more linear levels in Galaxy 1 feel like um even the more linear levels in Galaxy 1 feel like um they're more complicated than your average each Galaxy 2 level which feels like almost every level feels like it's an obstacle course which isn't to say that it's bad, it's just that it's lacking in variety. Yeah, I, I felt that. I didn't I couldn't really put it into words. You basically did. Um, but I definitely felt that. It kinda felt like the design of Galaxy 2 was a little bit soulless by comparison. I wouldn't say soulless, but uh, because I feel like the levels that Galaxy 2 has are overall better quality than the levels that Galaxy 1 has. Because there's like a lot less moping around and figuring out what to do, <laughs> which on one, the one hand means that you're always in the action. On the other hand, it means that, you know, it doesn't really feel like you're on an adventure, sure. and rather than you're more on a scripted, you know, guided tour, sure. so to speak. Um, there's definitely some parts where I wish that, uh, I see. um... Galaxy 1 better communicated what it wanted me to do. But, I suppose. Th but those were fewer and far between than the points in Galaxy 2 where it was just like, 
Okay, I'm not... I'm just doing the same thing, but with new effect. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I, I greatly preferred Galaxy 1. I felt like Galaxy 2 was lacking something. I just didn't know what. Because the thing is, I, playing Galaxy 2, I felt like uh, there's no flaw that I can pick out and say this is the reason I don't like this. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't find a defined reason because there's yeah. nothing wrong with the levels. Yeah. I just didn't like it as much. I just wasn't having fun. Like the levels are overall slightly better quality. There's just a lack of variety. Yeah, I guess that's probably why I didn't have much fun. Like that's the only problem, and it was kind of honestly, in my opinion, a minor problem, despite how much I just griped about it. Yeah. yeah. Because the levels were very good. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I just think it lacked the magic that the the first game. Well, had. I understood. I knew it was going to lack. The, I knew it was going to lack the magic simply because we've yeah. seen Galaxy One. Yeah, that's true. Galaxy Two is the first Mario, first 3D Mario game to not completely reinvent the wheel. Yeah, I honestly was kind of expecting them to take. Galaxy 2 in a different direction because they kind of had to. Yeah. It's the first and only, I should correct my statement, it's the only one to not reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Because Odyssey immediately reinvented the wheel after it. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, I kind of expected them. Yeah, there's definitely something over there I need. To, uh, to do different things. Also, they got rid of Rosalina as a character, essentially. Yeah, what, honestly, what's with that? Yeah. Rosalina was cool. Now she's just basically damsel for you to save in the final level, kind of. Yeah, what's with that? Rosalina was a good character. Yeah, also, the first game had a much better hub world. I highly agree. As opposed to just bumbling around with some random... Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> some that was unfair. Yeah, some random OB star on a planetoid that's shaped like your thing. Yeah, no, the, the hub world of Mari- oh shit. The hub world of Galaxy uh, 1 was so incredibly inspired. Yeah. And just a lot of, like, and not fun. To, and and not it was like, it was like, ooh, I see this area over here, but it's not lit up. What's it gonna be? Yeah. And you can actually, it's, you know, ex I'm an idiot. you I could actually it. can explore there if you want to, even though there's nothing there. Yeah. And then when it lights up, it's just, oh, cool. Yeah. But I, I will add to that, but not only was it inspired, it was inspiring. Because it had such a great aesthetic to it. Yeah. And its uh, its, it's soundtrack was really good, too. Oh, the yeah. way that as the game opened up, it there was more, like, epic music. Like, it, I think it added, like, instrumentation. It did. Such. It did. It started off as, like, a music box thing, and then gradually worked up to, uh... Like a full ensemble. It was mm -hmm. great. It's a minor detail, but it's minor details like that that make games. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like a, a case where. You it makes can't... the difference between, like, a, a game that's decent and a game that's, like, has a magical feel to it. Yeah, because oftentimes it's, like, life by a thousand phrases mm -hmm. as opposed to death by a thousand cuts. Like, sure. You can't exactly. A point to any okay. one I thing. <laughs> you can't exactly point to any one thing that a certain game or piece of media does right. Yeah. But it's just all of the minor improvements mm -hmm. that make a major difference in, you know, enjoyment of that piece of media. Like, for example, uh, I was actually surprised with. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles, the remake, and how well they... Of the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The remake of the first one... Damn it. ...did so oh, much no to improve the user interface. I don't know how I missed tokens, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But the UI was improved so vastly mm -hmm. that I tried going back to my old file of the original movie. His um, army after beating Dr. the remake. Has no choice and I'm like, oh god, this is barely disgrace. playable. How did I even get through this? I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> huh. Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. 
For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath. <laughs> he fucking rocketed into space holding his breath. <laughs> Hang on, I want to see if there's a third one. No, there's not. We have to I guess we have to unlock them as we play. Right. I'm going to go play a real level now. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's, that's kind of just how it is, right? Yeah. It's often a case of, like, the little things in life that make a big difference. Yeah, definitely. Because you wouldn't, or you wouldn't think that UI would be such a big deal. It certainly is, though. But it is, because the, um, like people have pointed out that in the original Xenoblade, the UI was actually just fucking shit. Yeah. And then they like slowly and systematically looked at every single flaw in the UI and improved it bit by bit until it became Excuse actually great. Excuse me, who's this Spielberg motherfucker? I am currently occupied with a mission of galactic security. Right, right, I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? Done. I need my star on the set pronto, you bitch. Uh, you're, uh, breaking up. You know, I can see. Oh yeah, how about now? <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Is it me or is there a higher concentration of anthropomorphic characters in this one? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there aren't any humans in any of the Ratchet games. Yeah, but there was a lot more like generic green aliens and shit in like the first game. Ratchet was the only like anthropomorphic character. And then the second one had Angela. Yeah, like, we still don't know But that where, was still it. But we don't know where Angela is. She never shows up again. I guess she just fucking... No joke. ...puts her head into the sand for the rest yeah, of the game. Yeah, no joke. She was flat out erased from the timeline. But anyway, um... But this game, like... Now it, now we have Sasha, who's like Angela's equivalent. Yeah. But we also have Sasha's father, who's an important character, and this guy, apparently. I guess. Who's... There's definitely more. And let me just, uh... Max out. Is this all I know? Yeah, I guess it's just like the uh, furry version of George Lucas. Oh, George, yeah, George Lucas is a more accurate comparison. Sorry, I said Spielberg, but you're right. <laughs> Lucas is more accurate. Um, I haven't had to buy anything yet, but I don't want to jinx it, so I'm not going to buy that. We can get it after this level. Yeah, we'll get it just after this level safe. if they don't buy If they don't uh, do the shit. What is up with this? That's what I'm This oh, must it's be Quark shit. Quark shit. Why is Quark here? I thought. Oh, uh, because this is a joint mission. I thought we were going alone and doing all the work, though. Well, we are, but he wants to be there. I guess. Just to say that he did. Oh, well, we've got this guy here. Skid, what are you what doing, doing here? My code name is Shadow Dude. Dude. Oh, oh, Black, Black Ops is my speciality. I figured you guys could use my help. Uh, uh thanks, thanks, Shadow, Shadow Dude, Dude, but I think we've got this one coming. All right, I'll just, I'll just take my hat and go, go back, back to the ship. Hat hacker? Oh, well, you know, on second thought. I think we'd like to join you with Shadow Dude. Awesome! This is gonna be sick! <laughs> Alright. Is this an escort mission? Or is he just gonna run ahead of us and I just have to survive? I think it's the latter. Which is good. Yeah, that is good. This escort mission so I'm afraid of what happens if I go in here. Nothing. Good to know. It's just you're covered in raw sewage. Oh, yeah. That's right. We were walking through. They did say we were gonna walk through raw sewage. Um, and I guess I he know. wasn't wrong. Yeah. We didn't technically have to. Not yet, anyway. Yes, but he said it, and then he did Yeah. Oh God, boy, I remember these, these guys from the first game? <laughs> yeah, the things that split into more shit. Hey guys, remember the first game? <laughs> <laughs> no. I refuse to remember the first game. Oh, you know, maybe they don't mention Angela again because she's in that other galaxy. And we probably aren't going back to Andromeda again. Andromeda. Yeah, maybe. So, like, maybe she's, like, in the different continuity. The thing is that, no joke, there is literally no answer to that question. I've played all the games. I know. There's legitimately no answer to the question of why, where she is or why. 
Well, I guess she just is off in Andromeda now, and nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah, she's completely irrelevant to the plot. In fact, remember how I said they retconned some shit later? Yeah. She basically gets retconned out of existence. Oh, really? Yeah, in a sort of silent, non-official way. You know, I think I know what you're referencing. Yeah, well... Um... But... I also think that maybe they just forgot that, oh, she's in Andromeda. And maybe what they're referencing is only with regard to, like, this guy's. I'm pretty sure that's not the case, but we'll get there. <laughs> Alright. I mean, yes, it is true that she, they just flat out forgot she existed. <laughs> I mean, was Ratchet 2 really that forgettable? It, I mean, it was. I don't think so. Only... I think they just. I think they just decided they wanted to have a serious story, and oops, the thing we want to do it contradicts what we've already done. Well, yeah. we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> sure. Fine. That's basically what it is, as far as I'm aware. Uh, please die. I have one health. Now you have nine. Well, that's something. Nine. There's more over there. Oh, also, we totally need Careful. to get that, um, armor bonus. Oh, yeah. Whenever because we can. we're just getting our shit kicked in. Okay, something I want to know, right? What? Do I have to buy the intermediate armor to get the advanced ones? Because I might be willing to slog through a couple extra levels with low armor to just ignore a mi intermediate armor. Well, yeah, but it's 10,000 bolts. Is so. it really that cheap? Yeah. I guess I'll just pick it up next time I go to the shop. So, like, yeah, we could do it, but we aren't really gaining much by doing so. You haven't forgotten how to swim, have you? Press square to dive and X to ride. Press harder to dive or ride faster. <laughs> Press harder. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hang on, I want to activate this without blowing myself up. What's the button to go faster, though? Oh, got it. Is it pressing X harder? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, uh, R1. Is the move faster button. Okay. Because otherwise you're just swimming with your hands, which is an inferior way of swimming. Correct. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, I like how um, the changes that really should have been there from the beginning just stay in later games. Yeah, I mean, they don't sort of walk anything back. Yeah. It's one of the things I've always loved about these games. They just genuinely improve over time. There's a huge biomass moving towards you through the drain pipe. Uh, it's quark. <laughs> <laughs> he would definitely be classified as a huge biomass. Uh, so this is a thing, I think. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, there he is. Hold it. I knew it was going to be like a mini boss. Luckily, I've got my uh, late game Ratchet and Clank skills going, so we're good. Go. We're veterans in two games at this um, point. A sewer crystal. Don't know what happened there, but. Did you see that guy spawn and then glitch through the wall? No. Like in one frame? <laughs> no. Because I did. I must have blinked at the time. Yeah. It was very quick. I don't know if he actually glitched through the wall or he just or if he just ceased to exist, but he was right against the wall, so I'm assuming he glitched through the wall. <laughs> I don't really know, though. I have no idea what I actually saw. Well, alright. But I saw something. <laughs> I'd say replay that, but I don't want to deal with editing, so... Audience, just hit J on your keyboard. At least a couple times. Yeah, you probably will need it a couple times. Because it took me a while to say that. More than 10 seconds. Fun fact, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, JKL on your keyboard is controls YouTube. You'll see what I mean, and you're welcome if you didn't know that, because it's yeah, very helpful. I think I might have accidentally found that out by myself. Uh, somebody in a YouTube video told me that, so now I'm just passing... Uh, pass, passing yep. that forward, that's like whatever it's called. Paying it forward? Yeah, sure. Paying it forward. So yeah. That's how I found it out, was a YouTube video. Alright. 
somebody said, oh yeah, by the way, you know why uh, space is stupid on fucking YouTube? That's because you're not supposed to use space, you're supposed to use J, K, and L. Okay. Well, what does space do? Space selects whatever option is highlighted. Um, or sometimes when you don't have one of the options on the video highlighted, it just scrolls you down the page. Hmm. Which means that it's pause most of the time, but it's too inconsistent. Sometimes right. it scrolls you down, sometimes it jumps to the next video, sometimes it mutes. So, yeah. But J, K, and L is what you're actually supposed All to right. use. Which was a fact I did not know for a long time. And I'm glad yeah. that I now do. I mean, I'm glad I learned it before they had those, like, in-video ads. <laughs> that YouTube is so infamous for now. Yeah. The L button is one of the most typed buttons on my keyboard now. <laughs> yep, because, like, oh, this guy's trying to advertise something Fucking in the middle dollar of his video now. Like, dollar shape club or whatever it is. Yeah. Just like, oh, you should totally check out uh, Dollar Shave Club right before I tell you about this nostalgic critic video. <laughs> I don't, I don't think he does it, but like, you get the point. He does do something. It's not Dollar Shave, Dollar Shave though. I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure he is sponsored by somebody now. Okay. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched him in a couple of years. Same. I'm just assuming that. Yeah. He I, does. I think I picked up like one of his videos in the last two years. What the fuck is going on with the home? I reached Boxton. Yeah, it's like, uh... It, it's just, I mean, it's it's just like, it's just like any level walls, you know, but it's just weird because they're, like, slightly see-through. Yeah, it's just really obvious, is what I'm... Yeah. Like, of course the seaweed cages you in just so, and there's no seaweed anywhere else beyond the seaweed. <laughs> like, yeah. it's just kind of nakedly obvious in a way that pulls you out of it. I guess. I just thought it was really odd. I was just looking at it. Odd, it, yes. Because it looked weird. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I've got nothing against being sponsored by somebody, but, but I, I am going to skip it. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't... You're not going to force me to, like, watch your ads. You're just not going to. Yeah. If, you remember, you, if, you, remember... if you monetize your video, I will put up ad block. If you put ads <laughs> in the middle of your video, I will skip those ads. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, true. it's the reason why I... And I would expect no less from anyone watching us yeah. if we ever get monetized. <laughs> or if uh, somebody copyright claims our video again and we get ads forced onto our video. Which is a thing that happens. Yes. Quite a bit, even with us. Even with our stupid ass videos. Mm -hmm. So... Just know that if there's ads on our videos, as of right now, it's not us. We didn't do it. And if it is us, you're free to skip them. Yeah, if it is us, don't feel bad about skipping them or using ads uh, in the future. Currently, we do not run ads on videos, but if that ever changes, I'm not saying it won't. I am not so scrupulous that I will not change that fact. I don't personally have any issues with putting ads on videos. I just don't personally do it right now. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah. It's like uh, LimeWire. I say that because it's an archaic thing, and I can't, and it's more of a joke than a serious thing anymore. But like, it's like LimeWire. It's like, I technically, mean, I should not be endorsing it. However, I don't care. <laughs> Feel free. I don't give a shit. Same thing with YouTube Adblock. Mm -hmm. It's not professional to endorse, but I don't care. <laughs> like, so many people do it at this point. Like, exactly. It's exactly like that. Did you know I that mean, YouTube is same... shutting down sites that let you download videos? Yeah, I know about that. That's fucking bullshit. Sometimes I just want a video for like a dumb meme, for like yeah. an editing joke or some shit. And the original creator doesn't even care 90% of the time. Yeah, they're just fine to have the video be shared. Yeah. Did you hear that? We are not alone. But it's annoying, because it's really hard to find a place to do that now. His geometry looks stretched to me. Yeah. He died. Well, it <laughs> oh, it's incognito or slim cognito. Yeah. What are you doing down here? I had a small run in with the cops concerning a suck can and upgrade. It was mistakenly sold to a mine. 
I would definitely say the bottom of the ocean is a less conspicuous place to do business. I mean, yes, but how much business are you going to get? Ooh, look what we got here. An automated machine gun turret. Uh, we, have the, we have the lava gun and the mini turret glove, which are from previous games. Interesting. I'm going to check this because it might give me another discount. Special warranty? Yeah. I'm hoping it'll give me some special discount or something. Or at least unlock new weapons, perhaps? Maybe, maybe. We shall see. You got some free weapons. Oh shit, I just got free weapons. I do want this mini turret glove, though. Oh, oh yeah. they are, they're just free! Yeah, shit, zero. cool. So we nice. just got the lava cannon and the mini turret free. I don't even think we had the lava cannon previously. Tear guys, infector, uh, whatever. Uh, oh, there's the mini turret glove. I don't know if we had the lava gun or not. We definitely I, had the mini turret glove. Though. Yeah, we we used the shit out of the mini turret. Glove. Yeah, minion Mancy. <laughs> minion Mancy. Oh no, it's uh, D and D all over again. <laughs> Goddamn. Combat Maybe. takes five hours because there's so many things on the battlefield. Like, honestly, here's the thing. What Evan's doing isn't breaking any rules. It's just making combat less fun. It's true. There's the ventilation. So it's, I, it's I not breaking any rules, and it really isn't causing a balance issue now that we've fixed it. It's just slowing everything down. I mean, it, it is increasing our firepower by a pretty decent amount. But it's not like super yeah. noticeable. He gets a lot of t attacks, but half of them miss anyway. Half of them miss, but at the same time, he's basically dealing like 53 damage per round. I guess so. So, it's a big deal, oh, but I gotta, I gotta it's not okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. It's just like, yeah, give him his 53 damage and let's keep let's keep it up. You want, you want to take over? <laughs> no. The, I know. The problem with the thing with Evan is that his combat just takes so damn long. Like, I wish I would have been fine if he only had, like, two or three minions, but he's got, like, five. And he has six, I believe, total. Oh, yeah, six. Plus, he's making that new, uh, bone thing. Oh. I have to do something with that. Yeah, he's making... Uh, yeah, he was hoarding new bodies, so he always has those, like, six skeleton boys that are never going to die ever in this game. Yeah, those skeleton boys are kind of annoying that they don't die. Like, you have to realize that. He will not ever lose those skeletons. I mean, ever. I could make him lose them. Unless you want a house where, like, oh, some extra attacks and destroy bloody skeletons. Well, they the thing is, they don't, um... Okay, first of all, before oh, I continue this discussion, do you have any idea what I'm supposed to do here? I'm really lost. I have no idea. It must be something about stepping on these buttons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this button disables that force field. See, it does. Oh, it's for a limited time. Okay, I see. I, I get it. Okay. I get it. Okay, sorry. We can go back to that discussion. I just needed to figure out how to actually make progress. Like, I this would be, like, completely house rule territory, but you could make some... Well, doesn't he need to actually pick up the bodies, though? They don't just they don't just apparate from thin air. Yeah, they kind of just like. Right. So the way to get rid of them is to force him out of the area. Yeah, either force them out of the area or like get rid of the remains. Yeah, like like lava or some shit that he can't get them back. From. Yeah, because like if you like, get thrown into lava, like, they're just gonna be disintegrated for for good. But, like, because we always win the encounters, you know, it's always going to... Happen. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of fleeing. Yeah, because usually D&D &D encounters are about you winning the encounters. Yeah. Because I mean, one or, one or two failed encounters now and then is not a huge deal, as long as you guys see it soon enough. So, perhaps I can... I mean, I wouldn't want to deliberately fuck you guys over, but perhaps I can throw a, at least a couple difficult encounters that might result in a couple of them dying and then you guys having to run, which would create that effect. I need you to extend the bridge. I'm not going to deliberately try and eliminate them. I'm just saying it is a it is it is a possibility under certain circumstances. And I mean, killing his skeletons would be a good indicator that you should leave. So, I mean, if the, he you like have one and be like, okay. 
and fucking in one round two <laughs> of his skeletons are just destroyed. Yeah. Then yeah, that could be a thing. Then then you might go like, oh, that's that's dealing a lot of damage. Maybe we should get out of here. And then you won't have time to pick him up. I guess. Not that I would necessarily do that intentionally, but I'm just saying it could happen naturally. I mean, say, under that circumstance. Really nice I've been better recently about balancing things, but I might throw you a couple hard balls here and there. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, cool. It's, it's just a... Uh, it's DDR. It's just DDR. Or, uh... Uh... Guitar Hero. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir, would you kindly open that door for me? I kind of want to know what happens if I fuck up. It is an honor and a privilege, my tyranny brother. Kinda wanna know if I fuck up, is it gonna have to give me some really weird dialogue? <laughs> I kinda wanna know now. I'm gonna try it next time. It might it might fuck me, but it's worth a try once at least. I mean I don't think it'll permanently break me. Well it won't permanently break me, but it might make me go back. But since I've only gone through one door, it won't be a big deal. Alright, I wanna press the wrong button. Your sister is a squishy lover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. You smell like a dead Amoeboid's backside. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna right, do it right It's just now. recycling dialogue. Yeah. Oh, shit. Would you like to buy a pre-owned crotchetizer? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Alright, good to know the, the, the precise amount of hold time is important. Yeah, but there is a little bit of wiggle here, yeah. it seems. I have to deliver a message to you from Dr. Nefarious. Not, not to, from... <laughs> you look suspicious. Who are you? <laughs> what gave that away? Luckily, I'm good at this. I am a loyal servant of Dr. Nefarious. Certainly not a Lomax. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. One can't be too careful. I wanted him to say, you know, I was going to believe you, but that seemed oddly specific. <laughs> that would have been great. Well, that's like the joke. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I just like when games acknowledge it like that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We've gotta talk. Wait, what do I press with this? Okay. Alright, I got it. I wasn't sure if the, uh, the the stick would work. Don't tell anyone, but I had but I hit five bolts under this girder. Haha, <laughs> 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 sucker, it's all mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic manipulation. All right, what are we doing? Brilliant. Um, okay. I guess I don't need to get the monkey over there. Oh, he got fucking zapped. Okay, well he doesn't oh. seem to have health, so I guess I can just walk over there and let him do it on his own eventually. Let him get like destroyed. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. You fucking monkey ass bitch. <laughs> Can the monkey teleport from girls? Um, I don't know, let's find out. Oh, oops, my bad. Whatever. I accidentally did not find out. What happens if I tell him to go into that fan? I just get mad. Right. I was hoping he'd like go get himself cut up or some shit. <laughs> oh boy, I love these. <laughs> Gadge points. Yeah. It's these guys. Again. <laughs> they're in like every fucking game. And they're always definitely absolutely everyone's favorite part. <laughs> I don't think they are in Deadlock, which is the next one. I don't know if they're in Tools of Destruction. They're definitely not in They're definitely not in uh in Quest for Booty or Clock in or Crack in Time. Okay. So, I'm guess, pretty sure this is the last game they're in. I guess they learned their lesson. I'm pretty sure this is the last game they're in. I don't know that for a fact, necessarily. But I think they are. Okay, let me see. Uh, they, they definitely follow me from infinite range now, which is nice. Alright. But, uh, they sometimes get stuck on walls, yeah, which is less nice. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Okay, telling them to attack does not work. Enter. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to go around this, but let's try. Okay, okay nope! <laughs> you just get instantly fucked if you do. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen, but I just figured I'd try. I mean, at least in the other games, you know... You had health? You do have health. You didn't have a lot of health in the second game, but you had health. Yeah.
And in the first game, you had as much health as Ratchet. Did you? That people don't remember. That. Oh but yeah, well that's because Ratchet only had four health. Yeah. Anyway. But like that four health went uh, for, went further. Yeah. Because shit didn't deal four damage on a regular basis. Yeah. All right, idiots, attack the fan. All right, now follow me again. I don't know what I'm it supposed to. Oh, like I'm probably supposed to use the monkey as bait or something. It looks like that was the only oh, thing. Well, we know the monkey can't go through walls. Come on, Simeon Simp. Simpian. We've gone past the only fan. Now the Simpian should be distracted. <laughs> the only fan. That's what our current viewer is called. The only fan. The only fan. If we even have an only fan. What if we just started calling our viewers instead of internetians, instead of calling them only fans? Uh, that, that would, would not probably be good. scare them away. Yeah, it scares away our only fan. Yep. You have to call them something more inconspicuous. <laughs> I don't know. I, li I like how dumb that is. This is the worst possible option. Well, yeah, that's why that we shouldn't <laughs> use it because it's the worst possible option. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Work. Please, just let me do my job. I don't even think I needed all four of them. I think there was only three I needed. But I, uh, I wasn't looking. I, it looked like it... I didn't check what it was before the... Uh, before they started going in, so I'm not sure, but it looked like three of them went in and then it immediately activated with the, before the fourth one got in. <laughs> well, this now is... We have to uh, it's a talking mini game. This is possibly the worst uh, level of this game right now. <laughs> I know it's kind of early to say that, but I'm here to repair the hollow vid in the break room. I thought this said butthole at first. I was really freaked out. I was like, I thought I got it right. It's about time. We missed yesterday's Secret Agent Clank episode. <laughs> well, you're going to be in tonight's episode. <laughs> As the uh, main villain. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Would you mind extending the bridge, sir? You have no clearance. How do I know I can trust you? Because I'm... Fuck. Go lick a purple fungus, toad face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That's a perfect piece of dialogue. That doesn't sound like I messed up at all. It sounds exactly like what I wanted to say. Because I'll give you my sister's phone number, and I'm definitely not a long back. <laughs> Oh, why didn't you say so? Huh. I should just walk past every dude, like, not a Lombax coming through. It's very believable. Yeah. Clearly, that's the magic word. <laughs> well, what took you so long? Clank, uh, what are you doing here? You're supposed to meet me on the surface. I thought I would help. Well, you can give me a hand searching Dr. Nefarious' office. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Complete Secret Agent Clank Holovid Collection. This guy's your biggest fan. That is rather disturbing. <laughs> How many of these Secret Clank videos has he made? In the Apparently a lot. Either that or he owns all the copies. He just has like 17 copies of one episode. Well, Ratchet picked up a single disc and said, The Complete Collection. Which implies yeah. that each one of those is the, the complete, complete collection. Co then why does he need so many complete collections? He's just one of those like super fans who's kind of like nuts and just buys them all up so nobody else can. But wouldn't like a fan want to share their sense of like fandom? You know, you would think that, but fans in real life do this. So really, some of them. I'm not saying they're good fans. What? The, what the? F I mean, did look you, at look at wait, me. Did I'm, you just see this? Yeah, they played this. They played a cutscene like four times. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Whatever. Okay, I'm being pushed. Okay, whatever. Well, at least it's fast. Um. I mean, look look at me. I'm a fan of Ratchet and Clank, and what am I doing? Fucking sharing the entire games with everybody. Yeah. I just, you know, I'm sharing it with Jacob because he's my friend, and with the audience because I think everyone should see these games because they're good, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
I like this guy. This guy again. Ugh. Uh, I certainly hope that's dirt on the ground. It's sewer crystal. Well, I mean, whatever floats your boat. Oh, that's that's the <laughs> See, even he agrees. Yeah. Okay. We should save some for that armor upgrade. Yeah, that was ten thousand. Do we need the? Suck we don't need cannon? the suck cannon. The suck cannon is shit. Agents of Doom is good, Fuck but it takes suck. all our money, so we're yeah. not gonna do that. Yeah, isn't the, that the Doom bots? That the Hydra had? thing could be okay. Yeah, wasn't that like the Doom bot spawner from yeah, the first game? Yeah, it is. It has a different name, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Deploy these lethal robot bodyguards and watch them take apart anyone who gets near you. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's definitely a good option, but we need to save money for now. I'm just imagining I'm like a bunch of bodyguards going into like a private meeting, and then the, the, they're like, mm, Oh yeah. shit, the bodyguards right. are killing our... Fr acquaintance here. Yeah. So, this is an area that we can farm for money. I mean, okay. Um, also, I think we know our positions on farming for money in the previous game. Yeah. Um, let's not, I guess. Unless we absolutely yeah. have to. Well, keep it in mind, we can come back here. There's something I want to point out, but I'm going to wait for this cutscene to end before I say it in case something happens. <laughs> What's with so many like screen transitions? It happens again. <laughs> it happened again. I swear that one was on purpose. That one was like, yeah, we know what we did. Let's do it again. <laughs> that one was funny. So yeah, we can remember that this area um, has shit. Travel the so cut. Here's something I wanted to point out. Um, on this, oops, not this. On this menu, no, not this menu. Hang on. Shit, where is it? On one of these menus, there's something good. It's saving, so I can't open the start menu, apparently. Damn it. All right, now it's good. All right, cool. Um, I think it's... Where the fuck was it? Where did I see it? Weapons. Oh, you know what? I think it's on the... I think it's on the select menu here. It's this one. I think it's actually, like, when you're selecting a thing. Yeah, so one thing I've noticed is that each of these planets... See that bottom square that's empty right now? The big rectangle? Yeah. Um, notice here... It gives you the missions in that thing. And it, it and explains it's like what's sim optional. Yeah, and it explains what's optional, and it simplifies them down to, like, one line of text rather than, like, four things like usual. Yeah. Because, which I like a lot. Because there's never, like, more than one active objective at any yeah. time. So now, without having to go into some separate page where there's a bunch of text, we can just look at this page and go, nothing here, nothing here, oh, this is somewhere we can farm money, and that's it. So it solves the problem. Ugh, well, I am tired of shit. Here is the controller for the last level, because we're probably done after this. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to be done. Yeah, we've got, we have enough time for one more, but that's it. Uh, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impressible! If you say so, sir, they apparently <laughs> stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janet. You will always be the love of my life. What the hell? You really should have that looked at. Moron could never hope to match wits with the likes of me. If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q-Force. What? This Q-Force must be stopped! Destroy them! Eradicate them! Annihilate them all! <laughs> it's on my to-do list. Right after folding your undergarments. <laughs> Is he even wearing clothes? Nope. I all right. Fine. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> it's fucking nefarious, dude. 
is the dumbest character and the best villain. <laughs> Uh, how do you like laugh maniacally like that and not know that you're the villain? <laughs> I think he does know he's the villain. After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. I don't think he's a villain with any subtlety. Uh, way to go. Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank games have had some unique titles, uh, but the title name of this game is definitely not subtlety. Which one of those? Uh, yes? Yeah, the yeah, second one was going Commando, so this is up Next. to Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma But going Commando is also a reference. Them. Yeah. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally they all are. the assault of the first main one. enemy base. The first one is just Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Alright, let's get to it! The only one that unfortunately is not is all for one, and I think I told you about that. Well, what a, what what's like crack in time for the situation? I don't know, crack. Yeah, I mean, like, but crack, I don't know. That's a bit of a stretch, bro. Yeah, but given the pattern, clearly it means something. All right. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, I'm really tired, man. All right. I think we need to stop here because I, I'm just too tired. All right, what are these guys talking about? All right, that was it for that dialogue, apparently. All right. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah, I didn't want to sort of hasten it, but I, I'm just done. Eh, all right. Next like, time, not not in a rude way. I'm just tired. Yeah. Well, next time uh, we'll see. Actually, I don't know where we're going next. I wasn't paying any attention to that last cutscene. We're going to Tyrannosis. We're, uh, to, we're probably gonna have to use the stupid disguise now to defeat the Tyrannoids. And cool. Shizzle. <laughs> Folks, shizzle. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. Quirky, quirky. I feel a random urge to save the game again. <laughs> uh, ooh, See okay. You next time. That's a good place to stop now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that line of dialogue just was like, all right, I'm done. That's it. Saving the game again. I don't know why. I feel as if if I don't, I'm going to hear that line of dialogue again. Just and that's something I would wish to avoid. Just the instant you boot it up, like. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that is something I'd wish to avoid. <laughs> Just to be safe. Yeah, all right. Well, um, I have nothing else to say, so uh, good night and stay interesting. I'll stop the recording. All right. Bye-bye.